Do you know what? Do you know when you think you've forgotten something? I know I've forgotten something today, but I've got no idea what it was. It is even. Maybe my words. Anyway, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's been a while, hasn't it? I've not been in for ages. Uh, anyway, uh, look at this as well. 14 days. 14 days. Two weeks today. We'll be here Christmas morning. Anyway, today's early bird special. It's a special price. It's a special price. Now, we had these on Black Friday. I was saying earlier to Hannah, we had these on Good Friday. She was like, you weren't here on Good Friday. Yeah, yeah, Good Friday we had these. We had these. Black Friday we had them on Black Friday. Do you want to see some graphics? I better just turn them up because I can't hear Hannah at all. Look, $9.99. Now, I need to tell you, this will be going up to $19.99. This will be going up to $19.99. Oh, I've never wish you Paula Mecco in, I'm afraid, really badly. Okay, that's right then. Early bird special. Look at it. It's lovely, isn't it? Uh, it's the, a divided, a large divided container. Special price. It will, like I say, it will be going up to 1999. It's fantastic for your fat quarters, but I love it because it's got that lovely elastic around the edge there. Top comes off. No, not but yet. But anyway, don't worry. Don't worry, I'll manage. Uh, anyway, look. 999. Now these come out. Oh, oh, now I should have tested the... They come out, so you could have it as a whole container if you wanted to, or you could have it as a two-thirds, one-third, or you can have it done into three different sections. Lovely project box. The top fits nicely. Now, if you have other boxes from this range, which we sell on the website, they all lock into each other, because you see here you've got your groove here. Well, the smaller boxes have got little squares that actually fit into those spaces there. I oh, know, 9.99. Now, remember, once you bought this, it's actually P&P &P done for the whole day, remember. So once you're done, once you bought this and you've checked out done your PMP, doesn't matter what else you buy, how many things you buy, whether it's from me here or whether it's from Yarn Lane. Um, yeah, I'm having I'm having issues, I'm afraid this one. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's coming from in there. Uh, 999, it'll be fine. 999, 999. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Lovely box. Now, the elastic here is that's good loom elastic, that is. Don't be thinking it'd be like your old knicker elastic and it's gonna go all stringy. Well, uh, Hannah's knicker elastic, she says, went a long time ago. Well, just as well, really, Hannah, isn't it, sort of thing, but never mind. 9.99, 9.99, and then, of course, once, well, if you're going to class and you put your fat quarter in, you take it with you. Let's do this properly. Doing it without glasses here, doing it without a safety net today. How are you all, by the way? How have you been? No, not you, Hannah, I'm talking to the people at home. Paul's what? Oh, Paul's, Paul's worrying about something. There you go. Let me have a quick look at some messages while you're checking out on that. Oh, Craig, it's so oh, blimey, there's so many messages. Right, Claire says, good morning. Margaret says, oh, get well soon. Has she got something? Oh, no, you're not talking to me. <laughs> no, somebody's what? Oh, Glennis is in hospital. Glennis watching from hospital. Marcia, good morning, lovely John, the team. I can't wait for today's show. I've missed you all week. June says, I love that shirt. Princess What's It says, morning, John and everyone. Margaret. Uh, in um, a good morning, Yorkshire. Good morning, John. All behind the scenes looking good this morning. Lynn Tewitt. Good morning, John and crew. Love the shirt. It's bright and cheerful. Have a great day. Alan says, morning, John. Can I send in my patchwork cushion picture? Alan, send it in during the quilting hour. Uh, eight, nine, ten. Send it in at ten. Uh, Marina says, morning, gorgeous. Thank you very much indeed for your lovely messages. I'll carry on then. It's Hannah producing, Alan, so you'll be fine. She'll put it up for you. Oh, Mr. Georgina. I haven't even told you how to do this yet, but look, Mr. Georgina, good morning. Good morning. Thank you, Georgina. Very quick. We're very quick this morning. Well done if you get this. Remember, it is going to go up to 19.99. Don't know when, but it will definitely be going up to 19.99. Yep, yeah, if you've got a jelly roll or design roll and you've opened it, right, uh, they go everywhere, don't they? It'd be fantastic to keep them in here. Come on, John. I always have an issue with this one, don't I? And it's, and it's not the box, it's me. It's not you, it's me, box. I'll do it with my glasses on in a minute. Oh, da, 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 da. Paul's been told that a few times. It's not me, it's you. No. No, 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 it's not you, it's me. <laughs> oh, not like that lady on the high street who likes you in your T-shirt. She was very um, overt, shall we say. Anyway, I'll, I'll get... Oh, Georgina's updated now. Good morning, John. Have a day off today so I can watch your great show. A great show? 
Wrong, wrong channel, love. Wrong, wrong, wrong channel. Anyway, look. Should we have a look at the pictures on here? Ribbons. Oh. How can my head be in the way already? Yep. People multiplying. Well, I'm not surprised they're all stacked together nicely. Well, they haven't got to to show you how they stack together. They're getting very mean with their samples, aren't they? But anyway. And you don't have to. Oh, the only thing you can't use it for is food. Don't put food in. You can if it's wrapped. So if you've got wrapped sweeties like bat. Oh, where are they? Um. Okay, so Hannah, not Hannah, Cara brought in a box of. Are they, were they quality streets? No. Celebrations, right? Other chocolates are available yesterday. Hannah's already wolfed half the box, and we know she doesn't like the bounty ones. There's lots of bounty ones. You know what she just did? She went into the other room to the guests and went, if you want a chocolate, you can have one of these, but you can only have a bounty. <laughs> I know, she did. Wendy saw her do it. Wendy saw her do it. Uh, anyway, um, you can keep wrapped sweets in there and things like that, but don't keep open food in there or anything like that. Uh, now, while you're checking out, I need to tell you about the 12 days of Christmas, because there's only one day left, isn't there? The 12 days of Christmas was if you bought something... Uh, no, hang on, let me start again. Between the first, well, actually, you need to be finishing it off now rather than starting it, because it's too late to start it. Between the 1st and the 12th of December, if you bought on six different days between the 1st and the 12th of December, you've only got two now, so it's not worth starting if you haven't done it yet, because you've only got today and tomorrow. But if you remember, if you've already bought five days already in this month, you only have to buy today or tomorrow, that will mean you've bought six days in the first 12 days. Uh, you'll be sent a special code and you get free PMP for the whole of January. Whole, there we go, here's the whole January. So, you, however, if you're just watching for the first time today, you can't start today because there's only today and tomorrow left. But if you've already bought four or five times this month, then it, you've got two days left to do that. Two days left to do that. And free PMP for the whole of January? That's better than that. Uh, you see, I haven't joined the Long River Prime yet and people are telling me I should. Because you get free PMP on that, don't you? Anyway. But you still have to, it's not free PMP, because you have to pay £8 a month or something, don't you? Anyway, that's by the by. Before I go on to the show, I need to talk to you about gift tokens, because we sell gift vouchers now. Right, now, hey, there's a slide here, right? So you can have any amount between ten and £500. You can either just ring the call centre and book them, or I'm going to show you now how to buy them. What I need to tell you is, if you are bought a Sewing Street voucher for Christmas, you can use it at Yarn Lane. And if you've bought, been bought a Yarn Lane one, you can use it at Sewing Street. So don't worry if you get yours, you go, oh, Yarn Lane, I wanted a Sewing Street one. You know, like you do on Christmas morning when you're not, well, maybe it's only me. But, you know, um, so, so, so this is how you buy it, right? You go to the website... Go to the front page of the website, scroll right the way down to the bottom. Oh, oh, it's changed, it's changed, hang on. Oh, so you can shop gift cards there, so click on there. You can go straight to the bottom as well. Then now, look, you have the choice of having one that is posted to you and one that's emailed to you. So let's do the post it to you one first, right? So you click on it and you go down and you can either choose one of the, one of the um, pre destined money there or you can put in any any amount you want any amount that you want at all in there so how much is Hannah having 450 no she's not going to click it because she hasn't got 450 pounds on her credit card sort of thing but so you click on purchase and you buy it and then it's posted to you like you pay your 395 post and packaging and you'll get a card and the way it works is when you get your card I'll just put that down there Paul when you get your card you get a, a, a secret code here and you have to scratch that off there there you go so you get your secret code there and you scratch that off it's like a scratch card right and then you do that and put that number in and that number in and it puts the amount of money that the card is worth onto your account so you can use it a little bit at a time or all at once or as a part purchase or something like that so that's the way it works if you get a, a, um, a solid one a posted one however you can get on email to you Mm. So what you do is you go to the website, you click on shop cards, then you go down and you click on email it, right? Now this is brilliant, this is, because look, so the, again you do the code, uh, the, the, the amount that you want it for, then you go, who is this for? Is it for someone else or it's for you? Well, it's for someone else, so it's for Hannah McCabe. So there you go, um, what is their first name? Hannah, she's having trouble spelling that. What is their last name? McCabe. 
I was about to say she spelled it wrong. <laughs> but she hasn't, because on Instagram, she's McBabe8, isn't she? McBabe8, if you want to follow her. Right, anyway, then you put in their email address. That's not her email address, right? Uh, then you put in, please confirm their email. So you put in their email address again. Then you write a twist going, I love you, Hannah, in little letters. Then you go straight down there. Oh, no, she's carrying on now. Carry on. <laughs> then you have to write who it's from. This It's from Catherine Wilson. That's our cat. Then you can decide whether you send it now or later. If you click on later, you can choose a date. You can choose a date. So if you want... You can arrive at, have it arrive at Christmas Day. Have it arrive on Christmas Day if you wanted to. Or March next year if you want to. <laughs> but anyway, you can choose a date when you have it sent. So you can either have it sent to you or straight to the person. And the same thing happens again. You get your special code and you put that in. Right, I just had to get all that out at the beginning. Right, there are several ways you can get in touch with me. Um, here we go. You can either go to email. These go straight through to Hannah, studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. You can go via the Facebook Live page, which is there, which are the ones I read out, which I've got hundreds more, which I'll read out in a second. And then, or you can, set, you know the white box that goes across the bottom of the screen? The way you do that is you go to the website. <laughs> What's the matter today, Hannah? <laughs> Click on watch the show live. And then you see the white box on the right-hand side there. You can write your message there. And you just send it there and it goes through to Hannah. Oh, honestly. We will get to Wendy eventually this hour. She's going to have to sew very fast. Right, so you send that and you'll get the thing saying it's been sent. And then Hannah will then put it across the bottom of the page on the screen. While we're on the website, have a look at how it works because everything is on pre-order. Everything from today's show is on pre-order. So... Uh, that's the one that Hannah's already put through there. This is everything that's coming up on today's show. And as it's played, it will go from pre-order onto today's show. That iron won't be there. The, the elf instructions are on their own. Limited. Limited. Right. So that's all of that. That's all of that. That's all of that. Oh. Menu. I knew there was something else we had to do. Oh, Elliot, I've got a question to ask you. Right, here you go. Menu. Carla me in Christmas tote with Wendy Orlando. And there it is. There it is. Gorgeous. Wendy's own design. Then uh, we have... Oh, it's not your design. Oh, sorry. We were told it was your design. It says by Wendy Orlando. Anyway, we'll come to that in a minute. Right, OK. So then we've got the Great British Makeover winner... Dawn Taylor with her tablet rest, her world famous tablet rest. There it is. There it is. Then we've got Moda Apricot and Ash Friendly Neighbour Quilt with Wendy. Couldn't fit Orlando on that time, obviously. She did not design that one. That is not designed by her, the quilt. She's made it. She's made it. There it is. You're, you're going to be really shocked at how big those houses are. Because I saw it on the box. Oh, yes, quite cute. What's the matter, Hannah? It's a bit like location, location, apparently. That's like when they did Hannah's Village and Phil Watts, it said, oh, this is a very bijou part of Birmingham. You're like, bijou? Bijou? And then at 11 o'clock, I've got Christmas kits and tools. Oh, look, and we, we now have Yarn Lane on it as well. Look, hang on. Look, Yarn Lane's on this one now as well. We, we swap over to Yarn Lane. That's no way to talk about Wendy Orlando. Super, super chunky Wendy Orlando. Oh, knits, knits. We can call her that, but we can't call her super chunky. Here it is, look, that's what we're doing in Yarn Lane today. Using a skipping rope to stitch it with. Is it not a skipping rope? Blimey, Paul. Right, let's get on. Here's the bag. So we'll ask Wendy in a minute, because it says on the instructions by Wendy Orlando. Here's the bag. It's got in two colourways. This is the green one. You wouldn't know until you looked inside. But anyway, that's the bag that you're going to make. The first colourway is green. So what you get in your kit is you get your instructions. My head. Okay, maybe they just the instructions about Wendy Orlando. Then you get half a metre of green fabric. And that's your lining. And then you get your panel. Fabulous tote bag if it's lined, isn't it? There you go, look. Panel. Well, you'll find out in a minute, Hannah. 
Hannah's like, what's that before? What's that before? You'll find her. I can't, I can't do the what's it, can't give all the secrets away. Wendy's got to have something to chat about, isn't she? So that's the green one. That's the green one. Then we also have, it's very different, this, the grey version. Same panel. Same panel. Grey fabric and the instructions. Seventeen ninety nine. I thought they were 19.99. Anyway, 17.99. Look, it says Wendy Orlando. Oh, it's my head in shot, sorry. Wendy Orlando's Colour Me in Silver Christmas Tote Bag Kit Instructions Panel and Fabric Half a Meter. No, no, you have to buy the pens. You have to buy the pens. Then the pens to do the colouring in. Aria. I'm just making room for the graphics. These are gorgeous, these are. They've got a thin end and a fat end. All those gorgeous colours, twelve ninety nine. Get twenty of them. Twenty of them. Now, Hannah, Hannah, you're so naughty. Are they colour fussed? Yes. What you have to do is colour them in, leave them for six hours, and then iron the back, and they're fixed. Then for, you can wash them up to. Oh, they've taken it off. The, oh no, there it is. Forty degree wash. Paul, do you? Is that all you get? Oh, your bath must be quite tepid. If you only get forty degree. It's 40 degrees hot. No, because on the washing machine, you have 60, 80, and 95, don't you? Don't you? Oh, do not get into a bath at 40 degrees, I'm being told. I thought 40 degrees was like hand wash. Shall we get on? Yeah, we'll Google that for you later. Wendy Orlando, good morning. What are you making? How are you doing it? Good morning, John. You're Did on you design form this, one, this morning. Right, so I designed the bag. But uh, a lovely, lovely lady called Lou designed the actual artwork. Oh, uh, Lou? So, yes. Do we know Lou? I don't know. Do you know Lou? I don't know. I don't, don't know. know. Do we know I him? don't know if you know Lou. Right. Yes. Anyway, right, okay, let's just put that straight. The, the panel has been designed by Lou, and the bag design to make the bag is by Wendy. So the instructions are. are yes, 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 I've yes, done yes, the instructions, yes. but um, obviously the artwork um, was by Lou. No, no, it's good. It's good because I think people should yeah. be. You know, I wanted to give a credit, credit. because they, they're so adorable. Um, this, this is my favourite, because you get two panels, but this is my favourite. No, you get one panel that's sorry, got two sorry. boxes you, Yes, on you get it. one panel with two yes. separate panels, two colour me in panels yes. in there. Um, and I've been very, very busy, very busy, John, um, colouring in. So I've done the, the whole bag and I've nearly completed this bag and I've still got ink in the pens, which Good, is great. I hope so too. Which, oh, okay. <laughs> and also, I mean, I know we joke about colouring in, but actually for mindfulness, they tell grown-up colouring in books these days, don't they? And Tula Pink does a colouring in book and everything. So it's kind of a, quite therapeutic in a way as well, isn't it? It's, it's lovely. It was great to be able to just sit in front of the telly and just, because obviously I can't do that with my sewing machine. No. So I just sat there and I just lost myself in it. And I've tried to go in the lines, but these, these are for children. It yeah. doesn't matter. And the great thing is, because it is such a simple tote bag to make after, it's not going to take you long to make it because they'll just want to see it made up. Yeah, of course. And you don't have to have the long handles. I've put long handles on them. But if you wanted to, you could cut them shorter so that they can just be like a carry bag rather than an over-the-shoulder yeah, bag. Um, but yeah, these, I mean, colouring, as you say, it's not just for children. And I've had a lots of fun. The pens are brilliant. Um, I've, you know, I've been around quite a long time, John, so I've tried most things. These are really great because, yes, there are times when you do need a fat nib, but there's also times when you want to do finer detail. Paul and says this the graffiti in the toilet, is that you if you've been using the felt pens on walls and things in your No, time? but it can be arranged. Okay. It can be arranged. Quite low, because Paul I was can't see higher. Well, no, I thought if I did it high, then you wouldn't be able to rub it out. So. No, but you won't be able to see what you've been writing about him. That heart, yeah. Wendy loves Paul, with the big arrow through it. It was lovely to see him this morning, because I haven't seen him forever. I, I, can I just say, can I just say, she came in, she did all her chatter and everything like that, and then Hannah said, Paul, and she went, it's Paul here. And I said, you've just stood in the gallery talking to him. And so she was like, oh. It's a no, it isn't. No, he not was, He was hiding. I think he was hiding under the desk for me, which most people do when they know that I'm in the building. Well, that's you know that, John. Habitat, <laughs> right, OK, so, talk to me about the colouring in, because you've just put that on a plastic bag. Right. 
please, please, please protect your surface. I've just got it on a plastic bag. Um, it will go through because if I turn it over, you can see how vibrant the colours are on the back as well. So it will bleed through. So please, please protect. And I say, I'm just using a plastic bag and I've just put it on there. Um, so don't put it on your work so tops no. or your, your best table or something like that. Um, if you have, I have a cutting mat at home that I use just for things like this. Okay. Um, because I've got a couple of cutting mats, one for cutting and one for gluing and all yeah. that sort of stuff. But yes, please, please protect. And we also know this because when we were at Sewing Quarter, I coloured in one of the fabrics, <gasps> one of the Michael Miller fabrics on the table. And I was like, oh, look, at, and it's on the desk then. So you don't want to be doing it on your best cutting table or your best dining table or anything like that. But it's it's catch-22 because you actually want them to be that vibrant. So you need that colour and oh, yes, you need yes, yes, the depth of it. it. But you don't want through. it. Yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Okay. So I was just going to show you a little bit. I have coloured most of it in, but you see, I like to have things finished, John, so I don't like to make something half made. No, of so I'm just going to show you how these pens work. So you have got, you've got a thin, sorry, it's best. Yeah, you have a thin end, that end. Oh, he's very good today, isn't he? I'm and then Hannah assist. did tell, no, I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about Paul. Oh. You're not, you're on form today. And then you've got a fat nib on the other side. Oh, we lost him then. There you go. A fat nib on the other side. So the fat nib I would use for doing things on a larger scale. And all you simply do is, and I'm just tickling it, John. Yeah. I'm not pressing hard. I'm just tickling it. I'm just really letting the colour touch the fabric. And they are brilliant, this, because you can just go over it once yeah. or you'll see on, like, Father Christmas, I've gone over it with a darker pen in places just to give the coat a little bit of depth. Okay. Um, probably it would have been better to give Delphine this project being an artist because there'd have been shadows and everything. But, you know, you'll yeah, get... we're not all as talented as, as Delphine. Are we She's all as shadows? Oh, yes, good morning, Delphine. She's Is she watching? I think so, yes. So she's um, too busy. Anyway, look, um, I've got a quick question. I didn't um, do it. Hayley says, no, 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 nothing too good. It's for mm -hmm. Hannah. Hayley, this is a Hayley customer, not Hayley, our boss, Hayley. Good morning. Can I ask what the size of the mat is that Wendy is working on at the moment? Big. The extra large cutting mat. Oh, it's on pre-order at the moment. She wants to know the size of it. Is that you sure? It's on the pre-order, my love, uh, but there's only one left. There's only one left. Let me do a few things for Katie Jean says hello, loving the show. Patsy says morning, everybody. Just contemplating to put the tree up. Think I'll watch Stone Street first. I should think so too. Lorraine's watching. She says John's always on form. Um, oh, loads of people. Love your shirt. Thank you very much indeed. Lots of people. Um, now, uh, lots of people are having trouble finding us. We're on Freeview 72 now. Isn't that right? Gallery. Okay, I think we're on Freeview. I think we're definitely on. I know we are. They, they're kind of going, um, we're on Freeview 72 now. You have to retune your box, right, to find us. Uh, because people have been messaging Neil saying, or oh, can't find you anywhere and things like that. Some people have still got us on 74. Some people have got us on 73 for some reason. But we're, we're supposed to be on 72 Freeview now. 90 by 60 centimetres, the cutting mat is. Thank you, but there's only one of them. Sorry, right off you go, Wendy. Sorry. And yeah, and get it in your basket because the I've got one of Check these at home. Check these out, are yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Just They're put brilliant. it in your basket doesn't mean say you've got it. I'm just having a little colour here, and all I'm doing is when I've got something tiny, I'm flipping it round and using. The okay, what end. you need to do is anywhere you need to focus, put it in the middle of the map. Ah, Delphine is watching. Oh, good. Good morning, morning Delphine. Pair, watching the phone. Hannah saying, "Morning, Delphine. Morning, Delphine." <laughs> She loves you, Delphi. Uh, before doing the school run, taking Louis in dressed as a king for the Ooh. nativity walk. What, they're not doing a play anymore? They're just, oh, I suppose they can, can they? You can't watch them, can you? Oh, you can't go and watch them? No, no you can't that. watch. Oh. No, it's not good, is it? And, and little Paul says hello, Delphine, as well. He loves you too. Everyone loves Delphine. She's amazing. No, not everyone. Oh, oh don't they? Oh, no. okay. Do you not love her then? I can't name names, Delphine, <laughs> but not everyone. I'm only joking, by the way. I'm only joking. <laughs> Delphine saying, oh, hello, Hannah. Kiss, kiss. So I'm just having a little play while you're having a little Yeah, you there. carry on, because I'm just, I'm just chatting a... while she's colouring in. I'm just uh, Marcia, oh, obrigado, Marcia. Marcia's from Brazil. Love your shirt. Hannah, do you need to have an account to buy a gift voucher? And if yes, how can my husband buy that for me? Right, he has to... No, no, you're not being awkward, Marcia. You do need an account. You do need an account... But you can send him one of those subtle hint things. But he will have to still open an account. <gasps> what, was, what was that? I think someone's just... 
Okay. Uh, Delphine says, no play. Sad face kiss. June's watching. Oh, June's got up. No, she hasn't. Where's that? I'm, I'm sorry she hasn't, Paul. Okay, she's also said, hello, Paul, love you too, but that's not come up on my screen. Yeah? I, d I don't think she said it, John. No, 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 it is. It's come up oh, now. okay. It's come up now. Hey, Paul, love you too. Jackie says, I watch on YouTube as my smart TV isn't preview. Thank you, Jackie. No idea what that means. And Hayley says, thank you. I was too slow. It's gone already. I'll oh, keep an no. eye out for it as soon as it's back. Up. We will get more in. We will get more in, Hayley. Right, carry on with your colouring. See, not all, not all tellies have Freeview, John. I, I, Did I you think, not know I that? I haven't got Freeview. Well, then you haven't got a telly that hasn't got Freeview, so you should have known that. You, John? But I've got a posh telly. Oh, have you got a posh telly? Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm just colouring in and, um, as I say, just using when I've got a, a big space, I'm using the fat nib. Just like that. And I'm just stroking, just doing very gentle brush strokes. Yeah. And a top tip, because I've done it, yeah. um, is let the colours dry before you, if you've got one really close to it, because one of them bled. Um, right. So if you can keep a little bit away from the black line, and this is only if you're doing that, it. Yeah, that's just your excuse for going out <laughs> the lines, isn't it? <laughs> it was. But um, the thing is, it's supposed to be fun. And it'll be great for children to colour in. And it doesn't matter if they go over the lines. And well, then it depends if you're being a bit designed. Oh, I suppose no, because Angelina Jolie mm. got all of her kids to draw something and she then had it embroidered oh, wow. onto her wedding veil. Wow. Uh, I'm not going to lie, John, and my daughter will validate this, is I just used to do a little bit of tutting. What, she, when she, she went out the lines? <laughs> oh, I think she was only about five at the That's time. That's cost her a fortune in therapy, that as you know. <laughs> You're tutting. We all know what it's like. <laughs> so I'm, I'm purposely not going close to the line because I don't want to get any blue on it at the moment. But I would wait for it to dry. Yeah. And then I would just go over it. All right. I'm nearly there. Now, and another top tip is I've done on the bag that you've got there, John. I've, I've just done here. like a candy cane around the outside. Paul? around the outside the witch bit, sorry. a candy cane effect so yes. i've done red white red white red white to that's it to look like a candy cane yeah but on this one i've gone for a rainbow effect oh okay on the actual on the panel that, yeah the on the outside, twisty yeah. round so on the panel that i'm doing now i've gone for a rainbow effect yeah. and just just to save time but if you've got loads of time to do it i just did red and then counted it out red counted it out oh okay red. didn't go red yes. yellow blue yeah because mm, okay, i did do the first one like that and it took me forever yeah um so i'm just very conscious that you yeah, you spoke on. for about three hours this morning it's so my shall job I... what I'm for. <laughs> did uh, I, can did i just I tell say something? you i thought you loved this you said this earlier yes and i wasn't really taking much notice in prep but you <gasps> said when it's been left and ironed, it looks like the fabric's actually been printed. And it does, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I wasn't wrong, was no, I? No, it looks like, that does not look like a piece of fabric it doesn't, been coloured does it? in. It looks like a printed fabric. And that's fabric. simply because, I know with the Father Christmas, I, I kind of went a little bit with the, the darker colours on here. Yeah. But it's like, she's a little elf, isn't she? See, I've yes. made her quite old because I've given her grey hair. You've given her brown hair on this one. Yeah, I've given a grey hair on this one. Yeah. Um, if you go, I don't know how close Paul there can come in on this one. In Keep you look, it still, he'll come in now. If you look at her hat. Look at her hat, Paul. <laughs> yeah. Right. That doesn't look coloured in, does it? Uh, Paul says it does. Paul? <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't. He's still upset that you ignored him this morning. I didn't ignore him. He was hiding under the desk from me. Yeah. Um, yeah, if you put gentle brush strokes and then you can build the colour up. So once it's dry, you can go on and do an even darker colour and a darker colour. But to be perfectly honest, you only yeah. need to do it once. Okay. Leslie and says her grandson's school are doing a nativity play, Ooh. but they're videoing it for the parents. <gasps> oh, that's good. His name is Joseph and he's playing Joseph. Oh. That's from Leslie. Oh, Leslie. How sweet. Right. Yeah. Okay. I never got to play any Mary or Joseph or anything like that. When oh, I was little. I was always the narrator for some reason. I was always like the tree or the star. Oh. I don't mind. Anyway. I don't mind. Anna chose to be the tree, she said. <laughs> yeah. um, so colour them all in yeah. and then leave them to dry. It's really, really yeah. important that you leave for them to dry. For at least six hours. For at least six hours. And then you would turn them over and you iron them on the reverse. Don't actually iron them on this. I mean, I did do a little bit this morning and it hasn't done anything, but they were dry because I did do these so a few you, days you, ago. You iron it with a hot iron on the reverse to fix it. To but fix it. But then after that, it's then washable. So you must be able to iron it. 
after that if you wanted to. That's just to fix that yeah. first colour yeah. in. So you just yeah. turn it over and you iron it on the reverse. And I wouldn't use steam. You wouldn't use steam? Um, because you don't want any water, you don't want any moisture in there, just in case it does. I oh, didn't... yeah, in case it makes it bleed. Exactly. Yeah, of course. Well, um, that was the theory. Viv said, I made my husband with a quilt with all the grandchildren's drawing on. Oh, Viv, the oldest is now 22. That's oh. the kind of thing that I would do, because I just think that's so special. That's so, so special. Right, so right. let's go and... So you've done your two panels. I've done my two panels, and then you'll see that we've got, and this is what, this is what Hannah was asking. The, they're called connectors on the, on the panel, John, um, but they're simply... Right, hold the leaves in there, leave them there. I'm not touching them. Oh, I'm there not touching go. them. And I'll show you them on the panel here. Right, so while you're showing them on the panel, would you possibly be able to just show them on the bottom of the strap as well of the bag? Because you've got my bag. Yeah. You've got my bag. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you've got my bag. There you go. And they are completely optional. Right. You don't have to put them on there if you don't <coughs> want to. Where would you, you put them otherwise then? Well, what I was thinking was, um, and I didn't make one, but you'll have enough material left over or you could probably use some of the white on here. Mm -hmm. How about backing them with some white because you know you can write on this and then make them into little gift tags. Oh yeah, that's a nice idea. Because I thought if you, but you, they're quite small. Um, so for a child, you'd probably want them to make them a bit bigger. So I would just sew a little border all the way around the outside, maybe of the green or the, or the silver. Or a little Christmas card, Hannah's saying, be nice. Oh, so. I'm liking that. Mm. But then I just thought, because the fabric is, you do get quite a little bit, uh, you do get quite a bit of fabric yes. that you could write on around the outside. Why not do that? Po totally. But this is what these are for. These are called okay, the connectors. Lovely. So you've coloured it all in, you've set it, you've ironed it, you've put it aside so that it has um, set, because we don't want to be making it yet. And then we're going to cut out, and I'm going to make the the silver. Is it called silver or grey? Silver. Silver. You've called it silver. Silver. Um, Shelley says, good morning, John. Not feeling very well today, so chilling out watching you. Oh, Shelley, oh. you take care, my lovely. That's not good. But in the best place, sitting watching us. Yeah. And you are on form today, John, I have to say. I'm on form every day. <sighs> but you're even more on form today. Am I? Yes, you are. You. Yes, you've made me giggle the whole time. I was having to be very quiet when I was watching you. <laughs> now, in, in the instructions, it does tell you to cut out a certain size um, because that's what the size this is. Right. But what I thought is even better is if you place the cutout panel on here, it's going to be exactly the same size. Right. So to cut the panels out, and again, you'll see on the big panel, is you've got a, a black line. Just cut on that black line around the outside, John. Right, you hope. Um, because that way, you know they're both going to be the same. Yeah. Because these have been done on, you know, digitally printed, so um, just cut round those. And then I'm just going to lay the fabric. Now I'm laying two pieces here because I'm going to cut them both out at the same time. Right. So I'm just laying it down here and if you want to you can use your rotary cutter or you can pin it in place. Um, really I like one of those spinny things. Do they do one in this size? No. Do, oh. No, the, the biggest I've ever seen is a 12, 12 oh. or 13 inch square, isn't it Hannah? Mind you, I guess you'd have to have a massive, massive but table. I think they're ignoring us in there today. Are they? I think they're just leaving us to our own devices, aren't they? Oh, don't you love the sound of scissors when they do that? Yes, but you have to keep your head back. <laughs> yeah, but then I can't see what I'm doing. Wow. Oh, oh, sorry. Someone's thumping oh. around upstairs. They are, today, aren't, they? aren't they? Sounds like a herd of elephants up there. Right. I think that table's moved again because I have to say, in Wendy's defence, she's not putting her head any further forward than normal. Mm. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, they moved the desk yesterday, Paul. Oh. Yeah, but not in the right place because my head's been in shot and Wendy's head's been in shot already. Well, mine's always in, so I have no excuse, John. See, I now need to get up there and I can't, can I? Well, I'm going to do it. When they moved this desk I'm going to do yesterday. it, sorry. Sorry, Paul. Susan says, morning, John and Wendy. Love watching Wendy's demos. She always makes every a mess of everything. <laughs> oh, no, hang on, hang on. Let me put my glasses on. <laughs> No. She always makes everything fun, and John's repartee always cheers me up. Yeah, Wendy doesn't like you very much when I tell her what to do with things, you know. Go on then. What? what? I've my, no, I've only cut half of that one. Oh. Um, it's hey, all right. peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> that that was not very nice, John, was it? What? You saying I'm a monkey, aren't you? No, pay <laughs> peanuts, get monkey. Exactly. <laughs> it's a compliment. Anyway. So I've cut my front and my back out. I'm just putting that side. Now this step is optional. Right. Um, if you want to, inside the bag is a pocket. You don't have oh, okay. to do Hang it. On, let me just get to what's inside the bag. Right. If okay. you don't have to do it, 
He's in jail on this one. Oh, yes, there it is. Oh, I did, I did. Oh, that's it, turn it. Well, no, no, don't, don't, don't turn it. No, no, I'm teasing you, because I, I purposely left the gap open so that you yeah, can yeah, see my turning pocket finger. Here. But there is a pocket, because I thought that this would be amazing. You know, like when you're going around Nan and Grandad's and you want to, to take your pens and your pencils? Well, not, not me, because I'm a little yeah, bit yeah, too yeah. old. Um, then you could put your book, but then you could put your pencil case, you could slot it into the thing and without losing oh, it. Oh, I see, so... Uh, I uh, thought it was for putting presents in. Oh, we, or you could leave this part out completely and put presents in it. No, 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 no. I didn't mean that as a... I wasn't being... Yeah. What's it? I just... To my brain, in my little brain, this was hanging on the end of your bed on Christmas morning and Santa had left your stocking on the end of your bed with all your little things in it. Okay. Because we used to have a pillowcase at the end we of our did. bed, you see. Yeah. And then Mike and Julie's kids used to get a, like a little stocking when they woke up at the end of the bed and I was thinking that would be over the post at the end of the bed with your father Christmas. Well so it? I would just tend to put a loop on then rather than a handle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's a good idea and also what I did think though John because you know the brain goes yeah. if you have just got some spare material let's face it I'm not going to be how much my how big my stash is yep. I would use that centre panel actually as a big sack Oh, yes. No, so I would put a huge downstairs. board around but, the outside yeah. and make well, it into a massive panel. sack. You can do what you like with mm. it, basically. Absolutely. Right, what I'm going to do on this one is I'm just going to cut that pocket out, but you do have to be quite frugal with the material. Right. So instead of it says to cut, I think it's like the width of the fabric plus 16 and then you fold it in half. I'm actually just going to have it folded in half anyway because it has to be the width of the panel. That's the thing that's most yeah. important. So if you don't put the pockets in, that's all left over, yeah. is it? This is, yes. Yeah. So if you, you don't have to put the pockets no. in. Um, I've just put the pockets in yeah. because I did. And then all I'm going to do is cut the width. There we go. Yeah, you have all that left over. Perfect. So you would be able to back some little gift tags, mm -hmm. um, put borders. I wouldn't back them because I wouldn't write on this, to be perfectly honest. I would only write on the, that fabric. So now we're at the pocket. We've got our, all the pieces that we need now. So what I'm just going to do with the pocket is I'm going to sew a top stitch along the top of here. And all that's doing is just going to make it look pretty. And it's going to just strengthen the top of the fabric. Stop it rolling, won't that's it? That's the one. And what size shall I do? Oh, Margaret's just mentioned again, John, I love your shirt. It reminds me of a fruit salad. <laughs> Margaret, my love, it's unity. It's all the different people of the world. But it does look a bit like a fruit salad. There's not enough in the world. Well, no, it's only a representation, Hannah. So just coming in to show you while Wendy's sewing. Look. Now then, this was made before social distancing, obviously. <laughs> so the next thing we do, we just want to attach it to the right side of one of the panels. Now, I can never, ever, ever tell which is the right and which is the wrong side of this fabric. So just choose one of the sides. Uh -huh. um, and I'm just going to put it in. I'm just going to straighten that bottom off because that bottom is not very straight. You need to have a straight bottom, don't you, John? Well, Hannah well, wouldn't agree with you on that one. <laughs> Oh, Dawn says it makes a... Hang on. Oh, dear. Hang on. Oh, What's the name of our guest that's coming on the next hour? I think she's just messaged. <laughs> she went, I'll talk about my shirt. It says it makes me think of the Beatles. Oh, yes. Either it's the, mm -hmm. the lady in the room next door or it's another lady with the same mm. title, name title. Title. Mm. Uh, morning, John and crew. Where have you been? Well, they only booked me for two days a week. So that's it. I can't tell them when they when I'm in and when I'm not in. So nice to have you back with Wendy. Loving the bag and love the fruit salad. Oi, Simon. Hi, John. Looking cool on a Friday. Hey, uh, Margaret. John. It's the colours, dearie, from my couch without my glasses on. <laughs> oh, thank you. So it does say on the instructions to draw a line in a washable fabric pen, but I'm just going to iron it because okay. then that will give me a line. So all I want to do is sew down the middle here. Right. And that's a good tip. If you don't want to, um, to find the middle of something, just fold it in half. And then I'm just going to lay it on here and pin it into place. But again, you could make those pockets, like if you were a makeup artist, you might want several long thin ones to put your brushes in and things Ooh, like that. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Um, and we d I purposely didn't put any wadding I would normally put H640 in there. Oh, okay. Um, but 
the idea of this one is that you can literally screw it up and put it in your pocket if you just want to pop out to the shop. So you really yeah. wouldn't want to screw it up because, no. you know, someone's taken the time to actually yeah, exactly. sew that nicely for you. That'd be ideal for Hannah's potatoes. Don't start on about your potatoes yeah, again, Christmas please. Christmas potatoes. You and your potatoes. Oh, hang on. Oh, yes. Well, we never did that, Hannah. Hannah said, you know, some families do the night before Christmas where you do pyjamas and a book. Um, who was it used to do? It was um, Amanda Wyatt, didn't she? They always made Christmas pyjamas for the whole family. Oh, someone has on someone has on the, the fans page. They did what? Um, they've made pyjamas for the whole family. I can't think who it is, what oh, made okay. it is. Yeah, and they look amazing. But you could put them in there, couldn't you? The pyjamas and the sweeties. and Yes, the... yes. Um, so all I've done is sewn a line down the middle. Yeah. And I've, I've reverse stitched each at the top. Yeah. Um, two or three times because when you keep putting your hand in and out of something, I just wanted to protect that top yeah. seam. And then all I'm going to do is just do a basting stitch. And all that means I'm just tacking that in place to turn this one, two pieces of fabric into one. That's all I'm doing. Okay, perfect. And I would do the biggest stitch my machine will allow. And I think on this one, it's a, I will see, it's a five. And you want to sew within the quarter of an inch seam allowance because you don't want this to show. Okay. Uh, Princess Maya says, I'm trying to watch on my iPad, but Loki has decided he rather likes you too, so he's lying on the iPad blocking my view. Put Aww. you on my phone so I can watch too. Loki Aww. is this Norwegian... No, not bloke. <laughs> Hannah's, Hannah's like, bloke? <laughs> no. Yeah, but it's a cat. It's a Norwegian forest cat, I think. And he's only 12 weeks old and he's Aww. about the size of this table already. Isn't he, Princess? He's huge. Well, I think that's a slight exaggeration, John. Uh, have you seen the picture? He will grow. To, he grows to like the size of a Shetland pony. No way. When he's full size, isn't it? Aren't I right, Princess? Tell Whoa. her. Tell her. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, tell me, tell me. She doesn't believe me. I do, I do. You've just been teasing me all morning, John, so I find it hard to believe anything with you at the okay. moment. So that's all I've done. I've gone with <coughs> a quarter of an inch seam allowance, and as I say, all that is to do is to turn two pieces of fabric into one. Yeah. So I'm just going to put that aside for the moment. So now I'm going to make the handle. Now I've already made one. Right. And I've made this one, like I have on the bag, completely plain, just to show that you actually don't need to put the pictures on there if you don't want to do it. So one side's got the plain and one side's got the picture on. You yeah. don't have to, but I am going to show you how to put the pictures but on. But also you were just saying if you didn't want a shoulder strap, then you just make these half the size and they could be like... Well, you could make them, yeah. So I'm just thinking is half a little bit... I don't know yet. No, yeah, half the size, half, just half to make it carry right. a, uh, like into a, a shopping bag. Because I know, especially if if, if you're going to, <coughs> if children are going to have it, they might not be able to put it, it's quite difficult sometimes to put it over the shoulder, yeah. but you can just carry it. And a lot of people don't like shoulder bags, whereas I'm the opposite, I like to distribute the weight evenly. Um, yes, yeah, so you don't have to, but we're going to, first of all, make the handle. Okay, 10 minutes you've got. And oh, Yeah, that's because you, you, you left me not with long much Princess time. Princess says, yes, you're right, John. He'll be the size of a Springer Spaniel-ish. No, Springer Spaniels are little, aren't they? But no, he's that's big. still he's big. quite big for a cat, isn't yeah. it? And all I'm doing is I've cut out the st the strap strips in strap from strips. strap strips from the panel. So you just cut around the outside of those, and it is all in the instructions. And if anyone does have any trouble with anything, just message me, and I will be more than happy to help. Okay. And then all we do is we fold it back out, and then I'm just going to, and it's a pretty standard handle. This is how you, you make a lot of the strap handles. I'm just turning it, the raw edge, and folding it back in towards the center, right. and then pressing it. Suzanne says, good morning, everyone. Sorry I'm late, I overslept. Oh. I'd love oh, to. Oh, yes, I would do. I'd love to oversleep. Oh. Oh, that sounded like... That sounded very much like steam. It did. That sounded oh. like a generator. That, that one is, yeah, this one's okay. I just don't want the steam for this. Yeah. Um, and also because of speed for me. Yeah. Because you've only given me ten minutes, John. You've had plenty of time. <laughs> you've got ten minutes left. It's Christmas in two weeks, John. Where has this two year weeks, gone? Two weeks, two, well, normally two weeks to this time, two weeks time, Paul's on those bucks fizz. If not, this is working this year. Wow. Yeah, definitely won't be able to. Otherwise, you'll be all you'll be all blurred and out of out of vision. Well, it's just be like having Elliot directing them, won't it? Oh, that's <laughs> not nice. So that's my actual handle. Now, before I do the 
because I've done here, I've done a top stitchy side to make it really neat. Before I've done that, I actually want to put a connector on this one. They're right. called connectors, but they're just like little embellishments. Yeah. So all we do with that, and you choose the ones that you want, and I'm going to have, I'm going to have the candy cane. Right. And I have already prepared two because I just want to show you. Now you know, I don't know if you know, John, how much I love. Glue pens yes. are my best, best friends. Because what you need to do on this one is you just need to turn whatever one you've chosen over, and then I'm going to turn the edges in so that I create oh, okay. that. Um, and if you turn that over, you can see that the edges have been turned in. The thing that's really, really important on this is that with the straps, you make sure, um, and I've done this on purpose to show you, you make sure that it's smaller. So if you can see on this one, it's a little bit wider, which yeah. means that when I try and sew it on, it's not going to look very nice. No. Whereas the one on the bag that you've got, yeah. it was smaller. So I, again, it is in the instructions. I do tell you that um, don't make it, I think it's one and a quarter inch, don't make it any wider than. And all I'm going to do is put a little so bit of glue. glue pen on an ironing pad. Thank you. Uh, so the glue <laughs> pen is here. It's 6 99 and you have to be quick because I buy all those. Yes, when, whenever exactly. they come back in stock, I'm there because the, they, in stock, they yeah. are my favourite, favourite tool. That already has two glues in it, one in the pen and a refill. And then I've also got a pack of refills here. Now, they may be all different colours, but they're not. They're all blue. They all oh, dry, no, no, they all no, dry tell clear. a fib. Two yellow, two blue, two pink. But they all dry clear. They all dry clear. Yeah, so and you can machine through them there. Right. That's okay. And please don't leave your lid off because I leave my lid off and it dries up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm <laughs> not admitting to anything <laughs> there, John. You denied saying that earlier on, no, the, on the fabric pens. on the fabric pens. pens. I didn't leave, yes. I, I did get accused of leaving my lid off, didn't I? Um, and all that we're going to do is just turn that edge in and I want to make sure that once it's turned in, it's less than, I'm sure it's about an inch and a quarter, yeah. I said. Um, Mama has uh, messaged in, Bebe. Ooh. Alison, Marion, Marion, Alison. It was Adele Ooh. who made the family Christmas That's, pajamas. Yes, they were of course. Fabulous. So, yes. Stuart's watching us having his breakfast. Oh. It'll be having um, crumpets and peanut butter. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Lovely you never had crumpets butter. for your breakfast? Hannah's had lots of chocolate. No, she had something else this morning as well. Yeah, she has had, had chocolate. No, she also had, what did you bring in? Your little No, tubs. she, yeah, that's what it was. Oh, she mm. had a chocolate mini roll and then she had the celebrations. Mm. Not good, is it? And breakfast. then another chocolate mini roll. And then, and then Paul said, <laughs> and Paul said, uh, oh, these be lovely with a cup of tea, wouldn't they? And Hannah went, yeah, I'm going to have to make myself a coffee. And just wandered out. I'm sorry I wasn't talking and I was listening to the story. I could hear Paul. You could hear him? <laughs> sorry. Could you hear him? <laughs> I went a bit quiet then. <laughs> oh. I could hear him. <laughs> right. And this is the stage that you do before we do the top stitch because you, you don't, if you add it on here now yeah. and sew through, you're going to get the stitches on the back. So do this bit first and then you want to do it on just one, well you can do it if you want to, you can do it on all four edges, but I'm only just going to do it on the one. Yeah. And then I'm just going to sew all the way around the outside, really close to the edge, because what that will do, it will, cons it will okay. tuck that in. Don't do that now. Okay, I won't do that now. Because we need to the construction of the we back. We won't do that now. Thank you. So the next thing we're going to do after we've done that is we're just going to mark three inches in from each edge. Now this is what I'd like to do, but once you get it home and once you construct it, you can make it how you want. But I find that by coming in about, because what I would normally do is find the centre and then find the centre here, but I came in three inches and hey. just mark. <laughs> there we go. And what's this mark for, the straps? This is where the straps go. Yeah. And then to make sure that they are exactly the same on the other side, I'm just putting it up here and then just, I'm trying to keep my head out. Yeah, no, it's perfect. 
there. So that's where the straps are. And then all we do is we take our straps. Now, it's really important if you've put just one picture on, you want the picture face down at this point because when it's sewn and lifts up, you want oh, yeah, the picture on the, the outside. Inside, so yeah. make sure you have the picture on the face down. And then I'm just lining it up with the, the raw edge of the fabric with the raw edge of the handle and pin in place. And I'm making sure that it's next to that blue line. And then I get my handle and I don't want it twisted. So you follow it all the way round and just put it on the other side like that. Okay. So it won't be twisted when you put it up and pin that in place. And then all I'm going to do is just sew a line of stitching within the quarter of an inch seam allowance. And what I would do is normally go over two or three times just to strengthen. Yep, two and a half minutes, I'm afraid. Yeah, <laughs> don't I'm, pull a I'm, face I wouldn't pull a face. Oh. <laughs> that didn't sound, I thought she was making a funny noise. Well, I did and I didn't. <laughs> I'm wondering, do you think it could be the machine, Paul? Um, John, or do you think it could be She's me? She's called me Paul know, about keep, 20 times have, this morning. Have, you look like a Paul. That's... Oh. Chris, message from Christine, get across the bottom of the screen while we <laughs> listen to that machine crunk. Love watching you two, <laughs> just like bickering children from Christine in Norfolk. Bickering? Yeah. <laughs> What's happened to the machine? Who knows? Who knows? We're just... We'll f I'm going to rethread it. I'm, okay. Yeah, I'm going to rethread it. I'm just going to go for it. Let me recap the bundles while the machine's being rethreaded. Rethreaded. Green, first of all. So you get the panel, you get half a metre of the green fabric, and you get the instructions. Now, the panel is by a lady called Lou, but the instructions are by Wendy Orlando. There you that's all of that. Pa and that makes this. Oh, you got a picture. You got a picture. There you go. Well done. And and they're the two sides of it. I mean, if you wanted to, if you had your own white fabric, and you nothing struck me making two bags with the picture on one side and a plain backing to it. Right, so that's the green one. Then the silver one is exactly the same, but instead of the green fabric, you've got silver fabric. Half a metre, panel, and the thing. I'll just show you the panel. There's the panel. So there's your straps, your two sides of the bag, and your little connectors. I've also got the crayon, no, they're not crayons, the felt pens. Pens in, there you go. That does not sound right, that machine. Twelve ninety nine. these are. Multicolored textile marker pens, right? You can draw on any cotton fabric with them. Leave it to dry for six hours, then you iron the back, and then it, they, they're washable then up to 40 degrees. There's a fat end and a thin end. Right. Right, so you've got, I've got my handle in place, and yeah. then all we do is we lay the right sides together. So again, you can't see it, but this is right side against right side to the panel. And you would make the other handle. So I've just done the back or the front, yeah. and then you make the other one in the same way. I'm just going to sew across here. And this time we do sew a seam. So this isn't a basting, this is actually a seam. So I would take it down to two points. I'm going to turn it off just to reset it. Yeah. So let me take it back on. There we go. Oh my goodness, this show is a laugh a minute. Wetting myself watching you both. <laughs> so miss you when you're not in, John. Oh, you're very kind. That's a true D. That's Aww. thank you. And Carol says good morning, everybody. And Princess says, I've sent Wendy a picture of how big Loki will be. Oh, lovely. Post with a picture of her bag that she's making. Oh, lovely. Oh. It's weird. Suddenly made it, it went clunk clunk and then it was fine. It's magic. magic. It's magic. Right, so I'm not going to get time to do the other one. Yeah. So will you make two of them exactly the same? Well, you go a bit longer because I've already done the roundup. So just keep, just keep going. You're messing me about today, yeah. aren't you, John? We've got three minutes now on the We've whole We've got three minutes. Here. Well, I'm just going to do one side of this because otherwise yeah. I'm not going to do two. But I, normally I would go down both sides of yeah. the strap. Oh, it's a little bit of power sewing now. We might have, to have another machine on standby for. Um, oh, we've got this one. That's it's, it's perfect now. Um, I do know what the issue is, though, John. Oh, what is it? Um, it's getting very close to the end of the bobbin. Oh, okay. So you know, sometimes when it just plays silly people. So 
um, if you just change the bobbin. Um, so I've just done that. Now let's do that. Okay, so we'll need another bobbin as well. I've got, it's all done, it's all in there, it's ready to... Okay, go yeah. on, brilliant. Just need to change it. Margaret's just going for coffee and a panettone. Oh, Oops. get you, Margaret. Oh, lovely. I love panettone. June saying, loving the banter, like an old married couple. <laughs> Less of the old, June. Well, I don't know, I think... Well, you're going to say less of the married. <laughs> well, no, I am going that way, aren't I? Well, no, I am married, but I am going... married? No, no, I am married, oh. but I am, you know, getting old. I was going to say, does your husband know? <laughs> and then the second one will have the pocket. <laughs> the second husband? <laughs> no, you know exactly what I mean, don't you? The second panel will have... Oh, it might be the first one if you put it on the first one, John. I knew you'd be trouble today. As soon as I walked in and I saw the look on your face, I knew <laughs> that I was going to have trouble. I wasn't even, that wasn't my face. <laughs> <laughs> I had a mask on. <laughs> oh, dear. It was your face. I could just see the glint in your eyes. It's like, oh, no, I'm going to have trouble with you today. That's <laughs> see, that's your age, isn't it? Yeah, but you know, you'll get used to that when we're married. Be in the second. <laughs> be in the second. <laughs> oh, gosh. Right. <laughs> so now I've done the second okay. side yep. and then all we do and it's really that this is the really easy part because we put right sides together yep. so you need to put the panel and the panel and the gray lining and, the, and the lining but you do want to make sure that this is really neat so you want to iron one one side and one the other to get that nesting yep. and then leave a gap I'm going to do it but you're going you to won't tell do me. it because we've only got 40 seconds but go oh, on okay <laughs> Um, you need to leave a gap in the bottom for turning and make sure that it's big enough to actually be able to get the bag out as well. <laughs> You're not getting in it as well, though. Is that your Christmas trick? Anyway, <laughs> yes, 40-year-old married couple, June says, yeah. Not married 40 years. Right, we've got 30 seconds. So what I'm going to say while she's saying that is Wendy will be back in an hour doing the quilt that's behind her with those great big houses. In the next hour, we've got a brand spanking new guest who won the Great British Makeover. No make off dawn and she's doing her it's got a special name hasn't it oh there she is there she is I've, oh no you'll, you'll see her in a minute um it's a thing you put your ipad on which has got ears it's a what tablet rest it's called the tablet rest have you finished yet no. no we'll see you in three minutes from now while we're having to spend more time at home again we're here to keep you busy and entertained. Sewing Street will be live every day from 8am, bringing you plenty of demonstrations with our experts in dressmaking, quilting, bag making, toy making, needle felting, embroidery and so much more. Our community of fellow sewists on the Sewing Street Fans Facebook group are there to chat to you about whatever you're making, sharing photos and advice. Check out the Sewing Street Facebook and Instagram pages for fun competitions and offers. Thanks for seeing me back. <laughs> My baby piece of kit with the sewing is the same with that. Hello, I'm Janice from Birmingham. I specialise in dressmaking. I used to run a children's shop and I love making children's clothes. My mother encouraged me to sew from an early age. When we were young, we did dressmaking in school. My claim to fame was the sewing quarter, but I'm now making also jumpsuits for the ladies and men of all shapes and sizes and it seems to be going for the festivals around the country. See you on the show! Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn? Bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools. and find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com.
Hi, I'm Wendy Orlando and I'm a craft blogger. You can find me over at thecraftyco.com and if you do head on over and have a peep, you will see that I'm a tutorial blogger. I do all kinds of crafts, but my passions are crochet, knitting and sewing, which I've done for over 45 years. In that time, I've made lots of mistakes, but I have learned lots of tricks and top tips that I can't wait to share. What I'd like to bring to the Sewing Street table is to show that you don't need to have gone to university or have a degree in design to be able to sew. You just need passion, a bit of courage to take the first steps and a whole lot of patience. Oh, and an unpicker. You will need an unpicker. I do hope that you will follow me as I take my Sewing Street journey and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. To see me back. <laughs> My baby piece of kiss with the sewing is the same with that. Hello, I'm Janice from Birmingham. I specialise in dressmaking. I used to run a children's shop and I love making children's clothes. My mother encouraged me to sew from an early age. When we were young, we did dressmaking in school. My claim to fame was the sewing quarter, but I'm now making also jumpsuits for the ladies and men of all shapes and sizes and it seems to be going for the festivals around the country. See you on the show! And no, that wasn't Janice in a sequin cat suit. We've, su we've sussed that one out. We thought it was Janice holding on to the lamppost there. <coughs> Excuse me. Brand new guest, brand new guest, brand new guest. Winner, it was before I, I started working because I'm still the new boy. <clears throat> oh, in fact, my probation will be up soon, won't it? I'll have to go in for a meet. well, have a Zoom meeting, see if they're keeping me after my three months. Well, you, that was unlikely, Paul says. That's nice. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. Anyway, this is uh, Dawn Taylor. She won the competition. This is her pattern. It's a cosy tech lounger, right? Cozy tech lounger. We have got, I'll show you a picture of it actually, Paul. Have you got a picture? Because I haven't got the real thing here. It's, there it is, there it is, there it is. No, no, you keep it because we're, we're not allowed to touch things the same thing. So uh, you can have it inside the ears like that, or you can have it rested on the front like that. Fabulous. Uh, now, I've got three bundles available and the pattern on its own. Now, I need to tell you that the pattern on its own, has half of them have gone already. Half the pattern on their own has gone already. So which one would you like to start with first then, Hannah? with the red one here. So what you get here is you get your instructions. Let's get that in shot. Okay. Then you get this gorgeous red fabric. Do you know what? I was in my bedroom and one of these stickers was in my bed, <laughs> which is a bit worrying because I've not been in here for a week and I've had clean sheets since then, but never mind. Um, so you've got, what's this? Is that the... Oh, look, it's a little hamster. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? So that, you get the red fabric, half a metre of that. And then you get your camel or your caramel, you get a metre of that. So it's a metre of that, half metre of that, and your instructions, £17.99. All right? And that will make the one that you've already, we've already made. Not, not, I say we. I haven't made it. Dawn made it. There it is. That's it. So that will make you that one. Half metre of the red, one metre of the caramel, and your instructions, £17.99. Tablet is not included. Uh, right, so then we're going to do the one that we're demonstrating today, which is this one. Oh, it's the same fabric, but it just in a different colourway. I didn't realise. Duh. I'm, I have to say I love this one. So you get your half a metre of your animal fabric, one metre of your mink and your instructions. It's not a chinchilla. Right, it's a ferret, isn't it? Now, hedgehog, snake... Parrot, budgie, tortoise, dinosaur. What's that there? Ferret, goldfish, but it's red, and a dog. Oh, no chinchilla on mine. 
Anyway, you get half a metre of that, you get half a metre and a metre of the, the mink and the instruction 17.99. Then this one, you won't be seeing this one being made at all and it's gorgeous, this one. So you've got half a metre of your birds and mushrooms. You get a metre of like your floral lattice plus your instructions. Graphics coming in. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, I've <laughs> someone just said, John, you just coughed and you didn't sanitise. I've got a broken sanitise bottle. It's squirted all over my trousers in a rather unfortunate place and all down the front of my shirt. Yes. <laughs> 22 pounds and 99 pence. I do apologise. When did I cough? I don't remember even coughing. Okay, who said that? Collector, thank you for that. I'm sorry I didn't spray. I didn't, I do normally, I forgot. And anyway, I'm all isolated here on my own and these don't come out to you anyway, so it's not a problem, but never mind. Uh, right, what's next? Instructions on their own. Cozy Tech Lounger. These are flying out, <coughs> the instructions on their own. I'll move my glasses. Uh, Becky Fox, Alexander Frost watching. Cute ears, she says, thank you. <laughs> oh, she means on there, oh, she means on there. Right, 9 99 the instructions. Other things you will need are, oh, interfacing. So, okay, iron-on interfacing, you'll need some iron-on. We haven't put this in the kit because we know most of you have got this at home anyway. So there you go, 3 99 Nice. It's toy stuffing. Graphics coming in, three ninety nine, and then last but not least, I've got these. Now these are not included. Dawn hasn't used these in hers, but Hannah thought it'd be a good idea to weight it down. If you want to weight it down, please make a pouch to put them in inside. Five ninety nine. You get a kilo. They are recycled polyethylene pellets. One kilo. Right. So let's go meet Dawn then. Oh no! You suddenly all. So. <laughs> Who are you? Where'd you come from? Why? What are you doing here? So I'm Dawn, and I joined. Uh, watched, started watching Sewing Street, and you had this competition. And I, I wasn't working here. No, now. you weren't here. No, as you said, you're the new no, boy, aren't you? I think your probation will be fine. Be <laughs> well, you don't know. Oh no, I think. Anyway, so you watched, and they had a competition called. They did. So I entered it. I've got a YouTube channel and some Facebook pages for Dawn's Tailor Made. Right. And. I put somebody posted it and showed me and then I thought I'd enter okay. and here it is here, here I are. am so what did you have to do you had to design your own you had to design your own thing um, and it had to be an original design so these the pyramids um, they are around um, but I wanted one um, to put my sewing um, things in so, there's so you start off making diddy ones the little ones yeah and this one is this one I keep my cat because I always I'm like you, I take my glasses oh, off when I sew. Oh, that's Yeah, because you're I never, but I never, I thing. never know where they are, yeah. so. But the one we're doing today, can we this bring is the big one, one yep. out so we can see what we're actually making with the kit? So oh. the bundle that we've done today will create that one? Yes. Is it your proper job or is it your... No, I work in a nursery in the, in the daytime, which is where all the, the little ears and the cutie Oh, you mean kiddies nursery, from. not nursery, nursery plants? No, 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 kiddies nursery. Oh, so. lovely. I'd love to do this first, full time. Hang on a sec. Hang on, what are you saying? Oh, yes. Could you put the... the oh, can you so hear you can it? You can have it. You yeah. see, um, <laughs> they can all obviously hear you without the earpiece. I've got an earpiece in, but Wendy could hear Paul earlier. And now, Hannah, she, there you go. There it is on the outside as well. But so you, you can, use you it can put books inside as well. So it's yes. a bookkeeper too. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Because so if you make one for a child... Yeah, bedside table, put your book in. But the idea was that when you put this here, you can still see the cute ears behind. Because when... I took one to work and Ruby, she sat our iPad in there. They do actually Who's fit Ruby? in this, just to go off and work. Oh, okay. I told her I'd mention her name. Okay. Because Ruby, Ruby, you've been mentioned. <laughs> so this does sit in the bigger one, but it can sit in the smaller one. So, but I wanted you to see the ears. So the ears are, yeah. are bigger than these. Perfect. And um, do you use one of these at home? Yes, this one sits in the kitchen all the time next to my mixer and I put my glasses on it or I put my phone on it. Okay, and your, your husband sits... uses this one here, doesn't he? Yeah, this one here. No, the big one. <laughs> oh, the big no, one, yeah, yeah. Your no, husband complains the about the sewing, he, does. he doesn't do the sewing. No, no, he started it though, he bought me the sewing machine. So I was going to say, how did it all start then? Um, I've been sewing for a long time, blah, 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 years. Yeah. 
Um, and then with uh, For Love of Scrubs came along with Ashley and I joined one of their groups. And as you did, I made masks, I made scrubs. Mm -hmm. um, but these ears, so where it started, I made the circle plate mask and the offcuts looked like ears. Right. So I folded them over and then I put ears on everything. I put them on scrunchies, I put them on bowl cozies, and then I put them on these. So thanks to the scrubs and um, for making masks, that's kind of where it's all come together. Yeah, yeah, we, did, we didn't do the masks. I did help in dress medics and we didn't do the masks so we just did scrubs. Oh, your drawstring bag I copied. I did your oh, drawstring yeah, bag. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, then, made lots then of those the for doctors and nurses were saying they need a drawstring bag, yep. so I then did that and yep. my ladies and gentlemen made lots of those for me. Yeah, no, I followed you. And the, 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 the dolls, I haven't made yet any, oh, any you yet, make but some, I would like to make If you don't know what we're talking about, my friend Francesca works with children who've been severely abused and one of, in the therapy, they need little dolls. They have to work with little dolls. So I just put it out onto Facebook saying, and, and Francesca rang me and said, oh, you couldn't make me four little dolls, could you? I was like, oh, I could, but you know. So I put it on Facebook. Anyway, I think we've just gone over a thousand dolls now. So what she does is she's kept the ones for her therapy, but she's sent it out to all the people in the country that do her job. We do it all for free. It's all done completely for free. Um, she then sends them to all of the people that also work with the, with the children. and. The, the, I'm not going to go into it because it's just it makes me cry. But it, the, the 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 letters and the emails she gets from the ladies and the gentlemen who do the job saying I cannot tell you how much because you can they can actually take them into court and use them in court whereas they can't use a teddy bear or a fluffy rabbit but they can use these little dolls so it's helping thousands and thousands of children and and it's just we won't go there because it's just but. It's incredible. Right, okay, so back to this then. So how do, move your, that to one, one side and let, let's start making uh, your cosy tech lounger. So the ears are the first thing you make. So you get your template. Right. So Lovely. with all your, and then at the back, you've got a template. And that is, so this is your seam allowance. Hang on, if I lie mine down, there you go, Paul can, oh, can not do both. Oh yeah, there you go, there you go. So there's your, that's there your you seam allowance. So that's what we're going to make now. Yeah, so the, the, the inside line is the, the actual thing, and then the outside line it's is just, where you cut the it. The outside line is where you cut it. Now, what I did, I turned mine, I made mine onto card. Oh, okay, Because if you're going to make lots, yes. you're trying to cut around that, so it's much easier if you to turn it card. into card, add it yeah. onto card. Perfect. So what you do, you've got your first piece. Um, it's called, you've got all your different pieces that you cut out. So this is the ear piece, <laughs> and then you lay and you cut out four of them. Oh, I see what you mean. So it tells you to cut out the oblong, the rectangle. Yes, yeah, so you got the oblong, and then this is that's that's what that's for. That's for those those four. Perfect. And then you pop two together. Oh, interfacing's moving. Uh, can I just say you've got it in exactly the right position? Your head's not in shot. That's brilliant. Stop wa yeah, waggling like that. <laughs> I did. I saw Wendy's head was in shot earlier, so I yeah. thought, no, I need to keep my head back. Oh. <laughs> oh. So you pop your two pieces together. Yeah, hang Wendy's... on, hang on. Have you put interfacing on those? Already? Yes, so, inter so let's no, no, go no, back. Don't Sorry. No. Please don't apologise. Please don't So apologize. put your interfacing on first. Before, yeah. before you start. So you need to interface one of your pocket pieces. It does have this in the instructions. Yeah, yeah. Interface one of your pocket, piece, pocket pieces, interface your earpiece, and then you um, cut your four then pieces you draw out. It, then you, draw then it you cut it out. Okay. And then you can keep these little pieces for free motion. That's what I oh, do. Okay. Love free motion. So, so do you do everything? You do all sorts of? Everything. Sorry. Everything. I've just started in going into dressmaking, but yeah, homewares, bags. Debbie Shaw's bags are where I started. Um, watched her on yeah. her first channel, and I just I love making anything. Oh wow! Anything, just love myself. Have you made anything for your husband yet, then? Um, he, the mask he's wearing, all the masks. I made lots of different masks. He wanted just a plain black one, so oh, yeah. Boring. Yeah. Whereas I've got ones with poppies. And oh no no! All the ladies in my local supermarket wait to see which mask I've got on when I go in the next time because I always wear a different one. Yeah, each got to wear day. a different one. Yeah. Right. Sorry. So pop these two together. Yeah. And then I drew on. So you've got these on. A different one on the website. Oh, yes, you? yes, They're yes. So yes. engaged. Uh, what we might do is have I got a picture of it on the website, Hannah, or are we just saying go to the website? Just go to the website. It's called what? It's a so engaged. So it's engaged. by Hemline. Right. Hemline. So, so this is the long one, but you can get another one um, that's got different measurements on Okay. Ours um, will be slightly different to that. Yeah. Um, and you just move it around, marking your, your one centimeter all the way around and it's the best way to do it for a curve yeah. I mean if you're happy what I do with my sewing you'll see when I start sewing is I use my foot as my guide right and it's right around about one centimeter um, but if you wanted to draw on for I teach a lot of beginners 
and they're all talking about how do I sew in a straight line. Well, the best way is to draw in your line. So you do that classes you're as sew well. Do, you do, do classes. Well? Daughter Taylor made does tailor made for you. Yes. We do classes as well. So are you have, are you um, able to do them at the moment? We do Zoom thing? call. So oh, that's, wow. that's that's how. I, so going back, I joined a group that was doing free classes. I then took over their Facebook group, and okay. now I'm running it, and it's now changed to Dawn's Tailor Made. <laughs> My <laughs> husband's idea, Dawn's Tailor Made, the name. So I have okay. to give him credit. Okay. So yes, yeah, so you. What's his name? Steve. Why couldn't it be called Steve's Tailor Made? Um, because he's not, he can't sew. He just, his idea. he just moans about the mess. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, he came in, and, and our office is beautifully tidy, not. Uh, and he came in, this is what our house is like. And she went, actually, darling, it's just the sewing room that's like that. And I was like, ooh. <laughs> anyway. So we're going to sew that's along that seam all okay. the way around. And you leave the bottom open. Right. Okay. Now I did change the machine, so I'm hoping, put my glasses there. I'm hoping. Why are you taking your glasses off? What, I you can't see. I can only see this, so now I can't see you, and I can't see the camera, but now I can see the Oh, you're the, op the, you're the opposite to me then. I can see for miles and miles Well, I was miles. worried because I was thinking, I'm not going to know where John is, but you've got your Beatles shirt I on. Did it on so. I did it on purpose, yes, yeah, so, so you can see me. Right, so, so what I'm just, were you saying? So I'm just using um, my, the de what I call it the default stitch. So when you turn your machine off, turn it on, that's the stitch yep. that you need. Because later on we're going to change to um, to a top, top stitch. Right. Now, are you using the pedal or are you using the push I'm just button? using the start stop button. I changed the machines. Wendy used the start stop button. Oh, yeah, it's a different machine, yeah. So I'm using the. I tried to use my foot last night. I lost it in a house move. Um, my pedal, sorry. I was going to say, yeah. I lost my pedal and then I just always oh, sewing with my start stop button and now I can't stop. Oh, okay. So I, tr I practiced last night and I was hoping that you would have. Um, I think all our machines got to start stop button anyway. So. I think they do now. I did. Um, I did do one of Debbie's. Um, I think it was one of the sewing shows that she did. Uh huh. Um, and they they had the start stop ones because um, you know the Skillshare that you're doing. Yes, yes, yes. I'm doing that too with. Oh, a, are you? With a newbie. So you're, you're, um, you're the mentor. This is I'm the mentor. Genomi Skillshare. It's a competition. Just go to the Genomi website. And you'll see. Uh, it's Jenny Smith is launching it. I'm one of the judges on it. So, so yes, I was I was talking to the girl that she's trying to use her foot, and whereas I'm so used to using the start stop button, so we've sewn all the way round. And now this is Betsy. This is what? This is Betsy. Okay, she's a bit crazy. This so one. So <laughs> this is my mother-in-law's mother's pair of pinking shears. It's so just, your grandmother-in-law. Yeah. So it's the only heirloom she said I'm going to get. So I've had them for a couple of years. <laughs> they are fifth. They are older than you and I, John. These are. Uh, Older than me? Yeah, old, yep. Older so, than 40? Yeah, older than 40. Yeah. Uh, that is fantastic. I know, and I've never sharpened them. No, no, and, that, and that's all you get in. So that's all you get in. That's all you get what, sorry? As, a, as your, your uh, hereditary, is that all you... Yeah, that's it, that's it, she said. So she's given them early, she said that's all you get in. That's, that's it. That's nice. So, but she's on, she's on my channel, Betsy's on my channel, I try and use her all the time. Oh, okay. So Betsy is the, the pair Betsy. of scissors. I haven't named my sewing machine, but I did name my pink and shears. Okay. So we've so we've just used the pink and shears all the way around. It does say in the instructions that if you don't have pink and shears, yeah. then you can just use notches. Yeah. Now I like to use my um, seam ripper for good. I say that all the time. So I'm just poking out. Are you using the handle to poke that? Yeah. Rather? Oh, oh so right. I yeah. So not, not the pointy bit. No, yeah. Yeah. It's the other end, and then. I've made my ear. Now we need to make it look more like, so you've noticed, you said about the different animals. So the idea was that there's a little rabbit hiding inside your iPad right. case. Um, is but there a got, rabbit on the page? I think it is a chinchilla. Shh. No, it's not a chinchilla. Well, these ears are big enough Paul's to be a chinchilla, Paul's rarely wrong, I think. you see. Oh, uh, okay. So you just bend that over, so you've got a crease. Now when you do two, try and make sure that you're um, matching up. Because when you bend it, your pleat can be very, very different. Right. So try and make the two the same. And then we're just going to sew across to hold our pleat down. And there we go. Now we've got three ears, but we don't need that. We don't need, I was going to say we don't need three, <laughs> do we? So your ears are done. Right. So you now need to make your pocket piece. Now, in the instructions, I've said to put your interfaced piece at the back of the pad. Right. But when I did it with this one, you can actually see the hem turned over. So if you want to, if you're using a lighter fabric, you might want to put the interfaced one at the front. Okay, not the back. 
So we place our interface piece down. Yeah. Do you know what? Get rid of me, Paul. Oh, there you go. There you go. Right. Yeah. So. So, but but we need to see behind the iPad, Paul. Just move the iPad again for me. Right. So where will you just show that? So here, there's because we're folding this down. We're we're locking the ears inside there, and because it's a lighter fabric, you can actually see the. Oh through right. It. So you might want to put so the you might want to put on the front, it on it, the back. I mean, it, you yeah. read through your instructions before you start anyway. So. Yeah. So the interfacing is on the bottom, and then we lay our. I'm going to just crease. I was going to say, is there a marking notch for the ears? Just or? crease. Well, I creased it in the center, and then I think it says two centimeters from the center. I love that you asked for centimeters because I work in centimeters, but most people aren't that watch YouTube. They are. They work in inches. Well, that's most. Of, are they quilters? Most of your people. Um. No, a lot of them are beginners. So are they? Are they older like me? Don't know. Maybe I don't know. Only, only because so I only I just, work in inches. Yeah. So I asked. Ah, so the centimeters is the new thing. Well, Whereas I thought though, the inches. <laughs> I thought the inches was the was the sort of, sort of the you know everybody uses the inches. Everyone uses well, all the quilts on inches because they mainly come from America and they still use inches in America. Because I have to remember three eighths of an inch and then I'm thinking what is three eighths of an inch? It's just yeah. But I but then you see my when my dressmaking seam allowance it's always five eighths of an inch. It's just like and when I draw my basic blocks they're all done in but inches. But I've had to go back and start again because I just I just I'm just centimeters. Oh. I'm a centimeters girl. Okay. So we're going to lay our ears right. two centimeters from the center and we're going to put whichever pocket piece you wanted to put on the front, yep. making sure that your pleats are facing the same way, so you want them both in or both out, and then just pop a pin. Now, I'm using the so extra they're not, long... So they're not, hang on, they're not facing the same way. They're both not going one way or the other. They're... No, they're both going the same way because when you flip them up, they are then both the same way. Yes. But yep. on the back, they are both be facing out. Yeah. So you lay your piece on the top and then just pop your pin in to hold them down. Now I use the extra long pins when I'm, sometimes I use the stronger, smaller ones, but I'm, I'm, I'm really loving these flower head ones. Right. And, and they're available gonna, on the website, the flower head ones. So then we're going to use, I'm making sure I'm doing the same one. So then we're going to sew um, with a one centre seam allowance all the way along Okay, here. before you do that, can you just swap your iPad, this iPad, no, no, the actual oh, lounger yes. with, with your smaller lounger, because people are, because I'm in a box here. Right. We need to be able to see this lounger. And where do you want me to put that one? Put it where that where lounger that is. is. Okay, I'll lose my glasses Sorry. then, John. Is that better, Paul? No, that's no better. Oh, we need to go further. F Hang on, because I can't see. Hang on. Okay, okay, need to go on the other side where the scissors are. So, this side. Yeah. Thank you. It's because because with all that we have to put the your box. boxes. That's it. That's John's it. So, box is in the yeah. way. My box is in the way as usual. <laughs> Perfect. So sorry. So you're just no. sewing across the top now. We're just going to sew with a one centre seam allowance along here. Now, as I said, I usually use I I place my. Can I move that forward, Paul? So I place my fabric against the edge of my foot and then where my default stitch is yeah. that is my seam allowance usually and it is one centimeter up thereabouts so now when you get to your ears um just go a little bit slower if you can because it is a little bit bulkier and then remove your pin And then you can go faster. Hang on, Hannah, don't come any further forward, Hannah. Where do you need it to be moved to? It's in the way again. That's all. It's Where do you fault. want it, Hannah? Um, Push it forward. It's there. You go. Is that it? And is it in your shop now, Paul? Sorry about this, everyone. We should have practiced earlier, <laughs> but it's fine. No, it's just that we would then not be able to see. You couldn't see your sewing. Couldn't see the sewing. So can you? So I'm on. The fabric is at the edge of my. It's on the Perfect. on the side that's of my foot. Better, brilliant, yeah. And then I'm just going slowly over those ears. And then I'm going to stop. Sometimes it can miss a line. You can pin all the way along if you want to. How do you stop your ears from moving? And I don't mean... <laughs> I pinned them in. Oh, you have And then them I in. took Sorry. the pins Sorry. out as I as, you as, I, as, as I went past. So you're not a sew over the pin girl? No, 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 no. I, um, I broke a needle, um, one of my sewing needles, and the tip broke off just before I was going to start a live, and I couldn't find the tip. 
Um, you'll have to go and watch the video. It's actually quite. And I was oh, terrified. Oh, you still published? You still published it then? So I did. I managed to look, just as I went live. I found it. It was sitting in the little hat that I'd practiced on. So if you sew over a sewing needle and that goes in, you just you can't use your machine then. So. Right. No, it's the best way to ruin your machine. And also, a lot of people, I've never seen this, but people have seen where the needle, the needle has hit a pin and then something's sprung up and it hit can. somebody in the I face. I mean, I don't use my glasses now, so that could happen to me. So you now, now, I tell my sewers to always have your iron on and your ironing board near you um, whenever you're sewing, because even if you are just sewing a bag or something like this, it's a good habit to get into. Yeah. Because... When you are then dressmaking or quilting, you want to be able to um, keep all your seams really tight. Well, yeah, yeah, because I, 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 my background is obviously the dressmaking or the costume making, and, and you iron every single you do. seam as you go along. You yeah. do. Well, actually, I iron, I sew on my ironing board on my channel. Oh, do you? Now, you see, the thing about that, apart from it's good for doing space, is you're not getting your steps in. You see, if you think you're sitting at your sewing machine yes. 10 hours a day or whatever, if your ironing board is on the other side of the room, it means you get up and you, you walk get, you over to the ironing board and you don't just do the, oh, I won't move and just iron here. So do you, do you sew standing up then? Um, no, I sew sitting down when I'm doing a live because of where the camera angle is. Yeah. And I have a table. My ironing board goes across the table. It's oh. supported. So I bring my ironing board in and it's white and then I sew and because then I can just literally as I'm doing now go backwards and forwards yeah, and everything okay. is where I need to this it's made such a difference because I never know where my seam wrinkles yeah. are never know where my scissors are and they're all yeah, there you've got to remember now. to put them back in there that's the problem I do I mean I didn't put these pins in then and I'm so, I've got such a habit of sticking them back oh, in okay. now so right okay so we've done so that we've scene got, we've turned over and pressed it through and then we're going to do we're going to do some top stitching okay so I've got my ears this way so I'm going to so I have put my interfacing on the back yeah. because that's how I that's how I was doing. But with this one, it doesn't matter so much because it's darker. So we're going to do a one centre seam allowance again along here. Just see, I mean, they are attached, but you just want to make it look nice. Yeah. So even your top stitching is one centimetre down yes. from the top. Yeah. So I'm going down to, it's, this isn't my machine. So I, I can't am, come and help you either. It's okay. Um, so <laughs> on mine, it's a five. So when your stitch length is a 5.0 on mine, but on here it's a 4.0. But I was practicing. Is it? Uh, in so there. hang on. Is 5.0 yours the longest one you do? Yes. So but you, I'm, you take it to the biggest stitch? Yes, that you can. But I did, I did practice this, and a four is okay. Yeah. So. It's just It just makes it look nicer. And yeah. in that. In Debbie's mystery brown sewing thread box, I found the perfect match. In what? So Deb, when Debbie was, when she first came here, she has there's a really big box of sewing threads. Have you watched but every single all, show that's ever been? This on? is what Elliot was saying. There you go, Elliot. There's your name check. Oh, Elliot. He doesn't need a name check. <laughs> Elliot said people do mention him every time, but um, he said you really <laughs> are a fan, aren't you? I said I am. That's because one of them was his stepmom. That's why he got mentioned on that show. Um, okay, so yes. So there's our top stitching. Okay. okay. So when I do um, when I do a class or when I do a make or a video, I try and incorporate a new step. So this has French seams. Right. Which it doesn't necessarily need them, but it has French seams because it's just a new skill that you can learn and yeah, you can yeah, then yeah. use it when you're um, when you're sewing something else. Right. But it also means that when you're sewing this, you don't have any edges. Right. So you line this up, so you should have four pieces at the bottom now, and then you've got your two at the top. Right. And then pop your pins in. So you've and got, you're right, you're, you're fine. Um, you've got, the ears are right side up. Yep. And the backing is, right. the background fabric is so, right yeah, so, side I mean, up. So yes, I mean, because the, all the colours that we're using, it doesn't really matter which way round it is. Yeah. So I would say, so this should be your outside. Yeah. So it's wrong sides together, whereas normally when you're sewing, it's right sides together. Yes. And then you turn it round. Yeah. So I'm just going to pin. See, I'm terrible. I don't often pin. I usually just go for it. Okay. Um, now, we don't sew the top. So this is labelled as one on the pattern. Right. And then this is two, three, and four. Right. So you don't sew because we're, we're going to sew that bit after. That's where we stuff right. in. So I'm going to start here. 
So you, you still start, you're starting at the, the top starting of at the one top, side, going right the way down the bottom, round, all the way around, but don't do across don't the top. Don't do at the top. And then we're going to cut that bit off to make a French seam. Okay. So Now I did, I don't know if this was Clive that showed me this, but sometimes your, um, your thread can disappear into your machine if you go start at the edge. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure it was Clive. Clive, I'm, Clive. Clive, Clive. Right. But I keep forgetting to go back and check, so I'm telling everybody on my YouTube channel, Oh, but Clive, it's Clive gave okay. me this tip, and I and I keep forgetting. So you hold your two threads, yeah. and then start, and it doesn't disappear down into your machine. But I'm sure it was Clive when he was making the sorry, well, coats with Debbie. So I'm sewing up to. Yeah, you must have really rang me to ask me about it first. You see, poor old Clive was rang from... me yesterday because he's got a project on the 19th, and he was just a little bit confused about the pattern. Oh, I love him. So when we get <laughs> when we get to. Um, the, the lip, I always lift my foot up, put it back down and make sure that it's sitting on the top because otherwise it can interrupt your sewing. It can yeah. push it down. And then you just sew all the way down to the end. Just matching up all of your scenes. I'm used to just chatting as I'm sewing because I'm used to talking no, to No, 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 it's on. absolutely fine. And when you get down to the end, now you can go off if you want to, but I just stop close enough that I can turn. Oh, oh! It, this what hasn't have you done got, wrong? It hasn't got a needle down where it stays. Are you sure? Well, I pushed that, but it didn't stay. So oh, push it, I'm just push gonna. It, it comes oh, back up again. So that's weird. It's okay. We'll go with it. Is that the machine you've got, Hannah? No, Hannah's a bit miffed because she bought a machine a couple of years ago. And now, of course, the machines are better and not as expensive and got more things on them. And when we were doing a new Elna machine last week, she said, my machine was £200 more than this. My machine doesn't do that. That's all I had oh, in my ear yeah. for the whole hour. Well, well mine, had... my, mine's nine years old and you've had some brilliant ones on here, yeah. some, some newer ones. So I'm just going to turn that around. I'm so used to it staying where it's supposed to stay. But I'm still using the same seam allowance and then just going up the other side. Yeah. I was about to say you were. I, I, well, I'm so used to sewing slowly because when I'm when I'm recording, yeah. you can hear everything because yeah. I don't have the nice mics and it's just my my camera phone, so I can't sew very fast when I'm sewing at home. Oh. So I'm used to. So just go all the way up to the end and stop, and then the way that you do a French seam. Sorry is you then trim off these edges and then we're going to turn it inside out. So it does say what to do in the instructions. I mean, take it down. So I've just realised I'm still sewing with my top stitch. Oh, yes. But that's okay. Put your head back for us. Uh, Leslie says, good morning, John and Dawn. I love your tablet design. Have a great time on Sewing Street. That's from Leslie. Cheryl says, good morning, Dawn, from a wet and windy Peterhead. Um, Bullnose is watching us. That's a new one. I've not seen Bullnose before. Shelley says, I only work in inches. I have to tell Clint off if he measures anything for me because he works in millimetres at work. Oh. And Moira says, I am loving Dawn's demo. Where do we find her on YouTube? Moira, you have not been listening. Dawn's tailor-made. The way you remember it is because um, everything is tailor-made for you. Everything's tailor-made for you. Designed by her husband, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> so there's Dawn's Tailor Made Facebook page. Yeah. There's Dawn's Tailor Made Sewing Group. Blimey. Which you need to be invited to. Or you oh, to oh, you have invited to that one. And if you do subscribe to Dawn's Tailor Made YouTube channel, yeah. there is a subscribers page on Facebook where you get exclusive oh, crikey. videos that too. nobody else gets to see. Okay. Well, I've so. got videos like that, but nobody's seeing those. Anyway. Wow, we were talking about your regression video earlier. Oh, yeah. I thought you were going to say that. <laughs> Honestly, it's the funniest video. If anybody wants to watch it, John yes. Scott regression. Um, have you seen my bottom reading? No. Oh, I had my bottom read on this morning as I well. I probably remember. I probably would remember. Well, you it. would remember because we had to have a set built that was a black screen with just a hole for me to push my bottom do you know through. that does sound familiar anyway. you did honestly hilarious hilarious things yeah how that goes to nightclubs like that she all used to go to nightclubs like that but not anymore <laughs> you can hear her it's funny so we're going to get our iron out again <laughs> yeah so you saw me cut those um that extra fabric off 
And now the way that you do um, a French seam is you point your... <laughs> I'm so sorry. Point your seams. Sorry, I started it. I shouldn't <coughs> have said it. Hang on. No, no, no. I've got to... Um, I just coughed. So I need to do this. Right. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So make sure that your seams are pointing out. And this makes all the difference when you're doing a French seam. John, I'm sure, will agree. I do agree. Into, uh, you're getting so many messages through. Loving Dawn's demo. Love it when John, love it when John's on. Sorry, that one's from Jill. And then Kay said, woohoo, morning Dawn, love this. It's strange watching you on my big telly and not on my phone. Is that oh. Kay Willis? It, yeah, well, yes. <laughs> and then Lorraine says, what? What, 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 I don't know what Lorraine's going on, but I'll come back to that one. Uh, good morning, John and Dawn, watching while at the hairdressers. Oh. Loving the show as always, Neve in Ireland. Blind me. Hope you've got your mask on. So, you could use this again if you wanted to, to measure um, your seam, but you're just going to do another centimetre in. Yeah. And then what it does, it encloses that line. Here's a question for you, John. Why are they called French seams? Because they were discovered in France. I don't know. Hang on, is that why? Because no, 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 no. That was an out. assumption I made. This, no, is no. it haute couture? Is that how you say haute it? Haute couture. Haute couture. I just. I thought... don't know. I suppose so because haute couture is like your high, very, very high end. And if you're doing chiffons and things like that, you do a French seam. So I'm just picturing just... A, a, a tight-fitting dress, but it would have yes. the, the French seam. Yes. That's so... good questions. I don't know. I don't know. I thought you'd know. No. Right. So lining up my foot again, so I can sew as fast as I want to. Uh, Trudy, I can't tell you that. Trudy's put, where is John's bottom? They're all going to be looking for you on YouTube now. <laughs> Lulu says, morning, John and Dawn. Just turned on. Dawn, what a great demo. John, you're fabulous as always. I'm not, I'm... Yes. So my corner is stuck in, so I use an old sewing needle. Yeah. Because it's stronger. Just pull your corner out what you can also do is if you don't want to use your needle is you can put a thread uh, as like a buttonhole thread uh, pull it through and then just tug it through janice who's on tomorrow does that tip well whenever i change my thread because you're not supposed to pull your threads through no. i always then thread up a needle so i've got attached to my sewing machine a little um it's a cathedral window it's a little cathedral window pincushion and i always have so i have loads of threads so you'd have that ready if you did that so I've I'm just got go back. Uh, my well. It's again my um, Tibetan symbols are on a cushion rug made with. I, in the morning before I leave, I ding my Tibetan symbols for clarity and everything like that. My niece just thinks I'm crazy. Yes, no, it's not a joke. It's real, and they're on a little, little. Um, not cushion, what did Lucy make? Like a, uh, what did you put your mug on? Like a coaster, but it's done in a cathedral window. Uh, what can't you find, Shelley? Me or Taylor Made? I'll, I'll, I'll put the link up for you later. There will be a website ASAP. Not about my, that, she's not talking about my bottom now. She's talking about her sewing now. Yeah. So it's not the straightest seam I've ever sewn, but when you are at home, you will have much more time. What are you saying? Sorry, sew. Lucy. Do you keep getting messages on your phone? No, 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 I'm checking the time. Oh, okay. Well, the, the, the tricky bit is this so bit, fine. so I want to make sure that we get to fit in yeah. that bit. So if you wanted to now, you could sew this, you could put a cushion in here, sew that up, and it would be a book pillow. Oh, okay. So that's one of the first things yeah. that I used to make, was book pillows. Just so you're not using your quick and pick for those no, corners? No, because it's further down. So, there you go. Okay, brilliant. So... Now again, this is all in your instructions, so you need to measure at four centimetres up from the bottom. Right. I'm going to go back to my channel and I'm just going to be doing everything in centimetres because it took me ages to um, to learn to do inches and now I'm going to be going back to centimetres all right. again. Um, there's a message for you coming up on the screen that says, Watch Dawn on Facebook. She talks things through so clearly. Glad she's on the show to a wider audience. Great rapport with John. Sent by June in Oxfordshire. Thank you, June. We've got Thank a good you, rapport June. then, you and me. 
I I I just I wanted one of the John hogs, but can't do that, no. can we? So I've left a little gap. So I'm going to sew from this end. I'm going to leave a gap and then carry on sewing. And then what you do, you stuff through that gap. Yeah. Okay. Paul said you don't so want a John you, hug for sure. <laughs> if you wanted to use those beads, then what you could do is make a little funnel. Yes. And then oh, because you're never going to open. You're never going to yeah. open because we normally say when you put these in a doorstop, make a little a separate one. separate pouch to put them inside. But you don't need to do that. You can just put them straight. Well, in because there. I put my pins in mine, I just use the, yes. the oh, no, stuffing. Yes. No, 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 so. I agree. You put pins in your one on your, but you don't put pins in your one on your. Well, iPad, this has been sat on my sewing table, and I keep putting pins in it because I'm just getting out of habit of using the other one. So, oh, top stitch, and oh, no, I was still in the top stitch. Right. So all the way down to your gap and stop, and then back stitch. Yeah, see, that's the back stitch button, not the needle down. I wonder if that other button is the needle down. I should have asked Wendy before we started. What's that? Well, she won't know. Oh, yes. there you go. Found it now. That one. The one that's uh, got an up and a down on it. Yeah. That one. Uh, the colour where you're working in, which is the animals on the cream background with the carrot, uh, with the with the mink, I called it. That's the most popular bundle so far. Ah, okay. I think it's because uh, I like the red one. But you can actually see the animals on the on the on the. We got cream lo long enough for me to unpick. Say that again. We got long enough for me to unpick. Why? What have you done wrong? I've done it around the wrong way. Okay, no, no. Wrong. You unpick and I'll do the bundles. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. Well, people on my on my the people that normally watch me, if I do something wrong, they love it because then they say it shows them what to do when you've done when they've done something wrong. Yes, exactly. Wrong. Well, so she's done it wrong, but you but can't you watch go. that because I'm going to do the bundles. Let's start with the one that uh, <coughs> Dawn is working with. Okay. So this is the most popular. You get the instructions. You get a metre of what I'm calling mink, but it doesn't matter about the colour. You get this one, plus half a metre of the lovely cream fabric with all the different animals on. And it just, and this, um, I forgot this table. is The centre of the table isn't actually the centre of the table anymore. There you go. So that's your bundle, 17 99 You will need some toy stuffing and you will need some iron-on interfacing. OK, so that's the most popular. Then we'll do the one that uh, Dawn's already made it out of, which is this one here. So you get, again, you get the instructions. You get the um, half metre of the red fabric, one metre of the caramel fabric. I've said the instructions. Uh, 17 99 Gorgeous. And then the third. Now, this one hasn't really had much of a showing, has it, really? So in this one, you get the instructions. You get the lovely... Um, it looks like a... Oh, brain. Anyway, I was going to No, it looks like... What make is it? It's Woodland Songbirds, but they've cut the lady's name off, and I know it's a lady's name, isn't it? Anyway, you get half a metre of this. One of them used to work for... Oh, I know who you mean. Poppy and what's... Anyway... Uh, half a metre of that, you get a metre of this. This is lovely, I've never seen this one before. It looks like a lattice, but it's got their little flowers. Come on in and have a look. Okay, so that's that, that's that. Now that one's £22.99. pence. Very quickly, I'll just do the toy stuffing. Super soft toy stuffing. Three ninety nine, and then I've also got the iron-on interfacing here. Oh, sorry, not there. It's not that graphics. There you go. Okay, there you go. Oh, that's three ninety nine as well. So it was the same price, just different code. Okay, lovely. Are you? I'm picked and finished and done. I am. Perfect. So you need your iron again to iron down your hem here right because that's where you're going to sew the back together right and then we will stuff it and then we will sew the last bit together hopefully we'll have time to yeah do yeah, yeah you'll be fine okay i've wanted to see behind this desk for so long oh have you <laughs> it's a mess it? oh no i tidied it up this morning so it's not a mess this it's morning. not a mess no 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 can you see the carpet bone where someone left the um I, what, iron yes. on the carpet? Yes, it wasn't her carpet though, was it? It's no. here. But then last week somebody left the iron on and I rested my foot on it. Oh. So the bottom of my shoe melted last week. Oh, okay. 
That's fine. Hang on, you can't see. There you go. So just the reason that you do this is it makes it much easier when you're when you're sewing it together. Yeah. And how much is it? How big is the It's sewing? one centimetre. It's in the instructions. And I think in the instructions, I tell you to, before you turn it right sides out, to fold your hem down. Yeah. But nerves and things, I just, I forgot. So. Pauline works in inches as well. You could, Pauline, you how old are you? Say, age as me, 40. You could start a debate on that. You really could. I suppose you suppose, I, was, I was at school before, you know, as in we did inches at school. And then when, uh, weirdly, at Wimbledon School of Art, when did centimetres come in? I, I, I don't know. I know in deci decimal, like, yeah, my, when, I, when I was born, oh, was 72. She said just not sure. It's good for 72, didn't she? So you've now got your little well, gap. she get that one. <laughs> right, go on. You've got your little gap. Yeah. So you're going to put your, I don't want to call it, what did you call it? Toy stuffing. Toy stuffing. Toy stuffing. What do you and call then you it? just push it. I don't know, I don't like the word stuffing. Stuffing makes me think of roast dinners. Well, that, that's exactly what Paul was saying. Yeah. Just saying, yeah. Because you don't ask for stuffing in a restaurant, you ask for seasoning, don't you? Because you shouldn't ask for stuffing. I'm vegetarian, I don't like stuffing. So anyway. am I. Oh, yeah, I still have stuffing. Didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, stuffing. Sage and onion stuffing. Yeah, no, I don't like the taste of it. Don't you? No. Make your own. Grow your own sage. Beautiful Ooh, plant. Yeah, I've you got would plenty love of time for that. No, I saw you with you did your you, tri you trimmed your bushes, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, still got the blisters. Look. I know, I know. <coughs> so just stuff. You don't want it too firm. You want it enough so that you can rest your iPad on. But you need to push this out of the way when you're sewing in a minute. So we're seasoning this cushion then. We're seasoning this cushion. There How must be another heard word. Of that before? Seasoning. Well, you can't go to the restaurant and ask, say, can my wife have some stuffing? Can Why you? not? Because you can't. I haven't got a wife anyway. <laughs> No, there is another word. Is it just oh, well, anyway, filling? You know. It says here toy filling. Maybe that's the word. Well, you're not going to go and say <laughs> toy filling. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, it's a bit surreal today, I think, isn't it? I was pleased I had, I've got you, John. <laughs> Hang on. When Shelley I says, I learnt in centimetres at school, but I sew in inches. How weird. Not, we, not you, Shelley. Well, no, you are you're a bit weird, weird, but you know what I mean. <laughs> So hang on, so you're going through the hole that you've so I'm left. So pushing in there, but, but then we need sew to sew this up back up. But what you do is you push, you give yourself a gap. Unless you want to use a zipper foot, because right. then you could get closer. Yes. Trying to sew along here, you've got that pushing against you. So on this, I didn't practice. My, my, my foot does move over. Most yeah, 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 machines yeah. do, don't they? Yeah. So you then just need to start again and sew all the way down, and then you're sewing up this gap. Right, okay. okay. Yeah. But it is quite squashable, if that's a word. Yeah, well, is it? Yes, you can go to a restaurant and ask for squash. Butternut squash risotto, please. Did you realise you were vegetarian? Yeah. For a long time? Uh, 56 years. Wow. Well, no, not 56, because I'm only 40, but you know yes. what I mean. I was going to say. Yes, I did. I watched your big birthday when you did all your lives. You got me through the furlough time, John. Oh, it's so weird because everyone says to me, "Oh, you got me through it," but they got you me. Did. They got me through it. You know what I mean? And when you but were not doing furlough, the, I wasn't furloughed. The great British sewing bee things that you did as oh, well. Oh yes, yes, they yes. were so cool. That just started by accident. That somebody just mentioned, "When are we going to talk about it?" And I still let's do it on Facebook on Thursday morning, and it's just carried on. It was brilliant. So you can now wiggle this, right? I and see. it will, and then it will all push back in. So yeah. You've got, so now that's where it might be difficult so you if could, you do these, because you might need to make a sausage of these and to put then it push in. it yeah. through. But you could, what you could do if you made the sausage and then put it in, and then you, because it's oh, it's only in the pocket. Oh so yes. So you could yes, make yes, the yes, sausage, yes. put that in, and then sew it. Yeah. So you could do that. Yeah. And then. Okay. How many minutes to, you got, Paul? Oh, that's cool. I really thought we were going to run out of time. No, no. Yeah, with demo demo time, five minutes. Oh, we've had plenty. So we're filling now. Filling time or filling the cushion? Filling the cushion. So, and then the idea is that you sew it this way, whereas if you were I've doing this... I've been looking at it going, well, where does the point come from? If you did from? it as a cushion, yes, you'd you sew it that, that way. way. 
You've got plenty of time to carry on this way. So I, I did start, when I was sewing um, a couple of years ago, I was making a lot of the book pillows that people do now. Yes. But I had the idea that your bunny was hiding inside your book pillow with your book and right. looking after your book. So that's where those ears came from. And then when I made the masks, the ears just came from there. But you could, and then you I could do them. different ears. You could. Well, I've done, I put it on everything. Honestly, I put them, so you can do foxes. So this fabric had a little bunny. So that's why I did the bunny there. Right. But on this one, so you've got the chinchilla ears. So, yeah, the chinchilla type. But animal. you've got the gerbil, you've got the dog. Yeah. Um, so you have got different animals. You've got the ferret, so you could do a different shape depending on which animal you wanted to represent. Yeah, yeah. And also with the red one, I was thinking if you put a bell on here, that's a Christmassy one, isn't it? Yeah, but then you have to cut the bell off, Nick. Two no, you weeks. can literally just just pin it in and oh, then. Right. Uh, oh, elf ears, Paul said. Little elf I ears. I tried to do those yesterday. My husband laughed and said it didn't look anything like an elf. I tried to make some elf ears. How many elves has your husband met? It. Exactly. He said it what was the wrong. He, he said it was the wrong green. <gasps> Came into my sewing room and told me it was I was using the wrong fabric colour. Crikey. Jeez. And how hard did you slap him on the way out? <laughs> I was sat down so I couldn't. <laughs> well, yeah, so, we don't, we don't, um, no, an advocate's not the word I was going to use, but I'll use that one, advocate. We don't condone right? slapping. Condone, thank you, Violet. So I use my smaller pins to pin this seam together. Right. Because these are stronger. Right. But then I push the fabric out of the way with the longer seams. Yeah. So bring your stuff in. Now don't overstuff it. You might think that you need a lot, but you don't because you need it to rest. Because you need it to squidge down, you otherwise your lounge. iPad's going to, yes, exactly, your iPad's going to gonna bounce off, isn't it? So I use these ones. So that's where I'm going to sew along, but then push your stuffing, filling, out of the way, and then use your longer pins, because otherwise when you put this under the machine, it's too bulky and you can't, you can't do it, so. Everyone's right, it does go really quickly, doesn't it? Oh no, the hour fly, absolutely flies by. I've got a nice message from Sue. I love learning with Dawn. She's given me so much confidence. Great to see Dawn on the big screen. Love Sue in East Riding of Yorkshire. Oh, thank you, Sue. Oh. These are all my lovely ladies. Pauline's a little bit older than 40. Just a little bit, she says. Just a little bit. I thought I would be worried about heading to 50, but I'm not. I was more worried about heading to 40, and now I'm heading to 50. I'm just oh, I'm bothered. dreading getting to 50. Not bothered. <laughs> it's fine. We have a joint party, John. It'll be fine. Yeah, well, we might be oh, different. Oh, we can't, can we? No, we can't at the moment. Oh, I couldn't have my birthday party, could I? My big birthday no. party or anything. No. Paul, you'd have been first on the invitation list, but it, uh, we're in lockdown. We were in proper lockdown. Proper, proper um, lockdown. And then the week before, they opened the bubble. And so Mike and Julie came because they were my bubble. They, we weren't up to that point, but they were my, bu they're my bubble sort of thing. So Mike and Julie came. So many of your followers, though, were with you in oh, no, spirit, no. weren't oh, they? Oh, they just, no. I mean, we uh, just, yes. I mean, I had to... It was so... Everybody just got behind you. It was so lovely to... Yeah. Right, I'm just going to tuck my ears in in case the camera can't... Yeah. See. So you're just going to sew. Now we're not using a one centimetre seam allowance. We're going to sew as close to the, the edge, edge as you can. Possible. Now with the red one, I used a red fabric, a red thread on this one. Yeah. And then a cream thread on this one. Now this one, I'm just going to use brown All the going way down. down. Um, but whichever fabric you use, try. And well, on this one, you'd be fine with your charcoal grey. Yes. It's a, it really is only the going from the red it to is, the caramel. It is, and it did I make a difference. So yeah. I def I used the red. Unless you make a feature of your top stitching. Yes. And you then. You need you... to be very straight then. I'm not very straight. Yeah. So as close as you can. Now I am going to slow down for this. Needle down. No, we're just top stitching the seam pores. It's fine. But you want to make this as neat as you can. Take your pins out as you're going. That's why I like to use my start-stop button, because I feel I have more control rather than with my foot. So do you drive? I do. I didn't drive here tonight. Today. Tonight? Oh, today. it was night time we already. Came, it was, it, we left at six o'clock. It was foggy and oh. it was really, really dark. So. It's really weird because I, normally if there's going to be fog, the villages where I live are the thickest fog. And I didn't hit any fog until just before Redditch today. Ah, OK. Uh, Paula says, good morning. I'm enjoying the show this morning. Thank you, Paula. Thank you. Just oh. take your pins out as you go. What are you muttering about? Just take your pins out as you go. Yeah. 
and then you've got quite a bulky seam uh, we, here. We can't show you because it's, it's, we'll show you when it's come out the machine. It's because it's um, all under the machine. But when you're going across the seam, because you've done a French seam there, you've got six, six layers of fabric. Yeah. So you do want to go slowly when you're going across the yeah. seam. And just holding the other, the, the stuffing back does make a big difference. The first time I did it, it wasn't straight at all. We'll go a little bit faster. And then you just manipulate it all to get it all to be filled back up. I do like this machine, you know. I might have to put it on my Christmas list. What's that? What do you need? I like this machine. I might have to put it on my Christmas oh, list. Oh, well, he's watching, isn't he? I mm. know, oh, he's working now. He got, he got the... Um, for Elliot gave him the code for the Wi-Fi, so he's now sat working. Oh, he's working in the office? He's working in the it, office. Yeah, but they'll have the telly on if Elliot's in. He always watches me, Elliot. He's got a secret crush on me, hasn't he? So, there is our seam all the way down. Didn't cut my threads off. Yeah. And then you rest your iPad. Oh. Or as we said, you can put your iPad if you want to store it in there. There obviously isn't any protection if it falls, but then you can well, no, use that as a book just rest. Dropping it, it, it is. You know. But you can put, use your book rest. You can put your book on there instead. And then now you see. I need. Uh, that's not a crack on the screen, by the way. It's just the way the light. Look at the look at the screen. Look at, look at I've got to put my glasses back on. Oh, you can't. Right, that's a t that's a camera, <laughs> and underneath it's a monitor. Oh look. yeah, it does look like it's a big crack. Don't, because that's his iPad. I'll be in lots. There you go. No, no. I'll be in lots of trouble if. Is that husband's that. iPad? Husband's iPad. How's he doing his work then? No, he's on the. Um, this is this. Um, this isn't charged, but no, he's using his laptop. Oh, okay, that's right. So. Then. Oh. I didn't mention this is my because it's Christmas jumper day, today. Uh, when you were saying that, I always thought it was the 15th Christmas jumper day. Anyway, well, it's on. today. So this, my, so he's now 15, right. and I needed a Christmas, I thought I needed a Christmas Who, jumper last night. My son. Oh, okay. So oh. I've got four. My youngest, Ben, is 15, and he made this when he was in year six, so he oh. was 10. It is the, sorry, I mean, we love it, but it isn't a very well-made, shall we say. It doesn't matter. So I put a mask on it, and oh. I thought it represented 2020 really, really well. Oh. So this is my... This so hang Christmas. on, we, have, we didn't even do that. We've run out of time now, but we didn't. Well, next time you're in, we need to have a whole family tree okay. breakdown. Okay. Oh, there's please. there's lots of us. We can uh, do lots that. of you. Uh, anyway, thank you, Gidda. Thank you. Uh, thank it's you. been brilliant. Thank you very much indeed. Um, I'm not doing a recap now, am I? Because, oh yes, yeah, sorry, yes, yeah, sorry. The one that you were working on, the most popular one, is this one. Well over half the stock's gone. So you've literally got the. Um, Half metre of the pattern fabric, one metre of the mink, I've been calling it, and your instructions, seventeen ninety nine. But if you just want the instructions on their own, oh, sorry, that's not what you said. Yeah, all the other bits you need are on the web, you know, the, the, the toy seasoning, the interfacing and the plastic balls. $9.99. Yeah, no, we don't think there's much. What's that on the iPad? There, is that a knitting? No, it was it's not on there. <laughs> no, no, I printed it off. Um, it's, it's letters. It's just, it's just random words. So I just printed it off so that it could, because I didn't want the reflection on the photograph. Oh, the so. hours I took trying to get these photographs, because you said take them in daylight. But I didn't tell you even, anything. There isn't any daylight. When you're, when you're trying to take photographs, it's so dark. So. Yes, well, it's, so are you in Norway reflection. at the moment where it's 24 it's just hours anywhere, dark? Anywhere, it just seems really dark. So. Oh, that's the Cotswolds for you, isn't it? It is. Anyway, thank you ever so thank much. You. It's been an absolute pleasure. We no doubt we'll see you again. Um, don't go anywhere because uh, Wendy Orlando's back. I'm ever so sorry. Uh, making this. Oh, are we going to see the quilt? We'll just show you the quilt because it's amazing. Look at this. Look at the size of those houses. Oh, people already started buying them. People already started buying them. It's a Moda kit, by the way. It's Moda. Moda fabulous. I'll see you. It'll be a little bit longer than three minutes. We'll see you uh, very shortly. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw from Sewing Street, and these are my five top tips for successful sewing. So, number one, always use a good quality thread. A good quality thread will keep your seam stronger and also help to prevent lint building up inside your sewing machine. Tip number two, if your project isn't going quite according to plan, put it down, walk away from it, come back again the next day and you'll probably find that things don't seem half as bad as they did. 
My tip number three, never throw away your sewing machine manual. Always keep it to hand because you're going to find hints and tips, techniques and troubleshooting in that manual. You'll miss it if you lose it. My tip number four is to read your pattern instructions before you even cut out your fabric. Different manufacturers of patterns will give you different instructions, different ways of constructing your garments and different seam allowances. So to have a successful garment, you need to follow the instructions precisely. And then tip number five is don't give up. Every professional sewer sewed their first seam. Every professional quilter quilted their first quilt. Every professional quilter sewed their first line of wonky stitches and had to get out the quick and pick. That's no different to you. So I hope you find these useful. We'll see you soon. While we're having to spend more time at home again, we're here to keep you busy and entertained. Sewing Street will be live every day from 8am, bringing you plenty of demonstrations with our experts in dressmaking, quilting, bag making, toy making, needle felting, embroidery and so much more. Our community of fellow sewists on the Sewing Street Fans Facebook group are there to chat to you about whatever you're making, sharing photos and advice. Check out the Sewing Street Facebook and Instagram pages for fun competitions and offers. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break, uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well and then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it so now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools. And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewists together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. I'll be with you in a minute. I'm just finishing sanitising and put my ring back on. Oh, well, I don't, I'm normally really good at it. It's upset me a little bit. That lady said I'm, I'm spreading it because I'm coughing and everything. I normally do it every time. Anyway, 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 anyway. Look at this quilt. Look at this quilt. Look at this quilt. That's not the quilt, Paul. Isn't it lovely? Look, it's a moda kit. It's a moda kit. Gorgeous. Now, 
Um, the houses are enormous. You'll see when we come to Wendy in a minute, the houses are absolutely enormous. But I've got the box here. This is how it comes. It's lovely. Absolutely lovely. This is the box it comes in. But everything you need fabric-wise, do what, what? To the left. There we go. We have to get this table sorted. I'll talk to Elliot about it later. It's called Apricot and Ash. And it comes in a box like this. This is how it'll come to your house. Right, look, I'm going to open it. Oh, there you go. 139.99 is your price. Um, hang on, I don't want to rip the box. What's the matter, Elliot? What's the matter? Can we get these lights and the cameras sorted, please? I know you've got a lot to do. Anyway, look, come on, got a show to do. Shush, got a show to do. Right, in the box, you do get, I'll come back to that bit in a minute. It's all mode of fabric, gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. So, this is your white background fabric. Oh, I'll do it above. There you go. Thank you, Paul. This, now these are all fat, that, that one's not a fat quarter. Let me move those two out of the way. These are all fat quarters, right? They are beautiful, gorgeous printed fabric. Look, I'll go through them all very slowly. I'll tidy up in a minute. All of those, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Yeah, they're all printed, beautiful printed fabrics. Look at that, fresh, fresh. Um, they're quite cu cutesy, aren't they really? Kind of cutesy printed. You can tell they're moda, can't you? First of all, not only by the pattern, but also by the, um, by the feel of them. Um, and then, so those, those are all, Wendy will explain how you do it all in a second. Those are all your fabric. This is the piece for your grass outside the front of your house. And this piece, you get this piece twice. You get this fabric twice, right? One is a fat quarter, one's a bit more. The one that's a bit more is your binding. Now, what you need to know is you don't get backing in this kit and you don't get wadding. So you can do everything from the front, including the binding. You have to supply your own backing and your own wadding. But, but, but I haven't shown you this most important thing. Look, 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 look. Yeah, on the, on the overhead, there you go. Look, it's like a big panel. Can you see that? Well, they are like Hawaiian applique. Well, those ones, uh, those are definitely like Hawaiian applique there, aren't they? Well, actually, they all are, aren't they? Yeah, you're right. Oh, so they are the centres of your houses. Or as Hannah was saying earlier, your bifold doors. Yeah, well, or her garage, you know. Anyway, th that's a panel with all of those on. As well as all of that, you do get the instructions. Full in set of instructions here, look. Can you see that? Look, I think, look, see, it's got everything you need. I mean, you won't need these because you've got Wendy Orlando now to tell you how to do it or how not to do it. Now, the one you can make is bigger than the one that's hanging on the wall behind Wendy. I think it's another block sideways and another block downwards. I think you can do four and four, can't you? Four and four. She's just done three and three. Uh, there it is, there it is. So that's the three and three. Yours will be four houses by four houses. And I think it said 82 by 82 somewhere, didn't it? Hang on, did it, Hannah? Oh, yeah, 82 by 82 in inches, inches. Right, OK, uh, while I tidy up in here, because I'm not going to show you anything else now, at the halfway point, I'll talk to you about um, batting and things like that. Let's get on with it. So let me tidy up and you can start at where we start. When we get the box, what do we do first? First thing, you open it. Really? Yeah, yeah. Don't start, John. Don't yeah, I start. won't, I won't. <laughs> uh, now, the first thing to do is open it and take everything out. And I was... I looked at it and thought, I can't possibly make that with just that small box because it's, but when you open it, it's just got a huge amount inside. And you can see behind me, it is massive. Yes, I was so shocked because we'd seen the pictures earlier and I thought, uh, in, they look we tiny, quarter, don't they? We did, ha we did house quilts like this and they were, the houses were about that big. Well, that's we? what I thought they yeah. were going to be. And then when it started putting together and it was like, whoa, that's massive. So to make the kit, you will be able to do an extra on the side and an extra on the bottom. So Perfect. it's going to be big. Now I laid that on me. I've got a, a big bed and I laid that on it and it nearly fitted the whole bed. But so. you know what I'm thinking? if you made it one wider mm -hmm. and then did that means you've got four blocks still left over 
you could do a sofa quilt and lovely big cushions or garden. That's what I would do. Garden you know quilt. me, I'm, I'm a bit tight. Yeah. I, th I like to use the word frugal, yes. but I am a bit tight, John. Yeah. So I wouldn't make the whole quilt. I would make um, cushions. Yes. Because this would be an amazing panel. I think, I want to say that they're 18 something, each of these. I can't remember. Okay, but, but don't worry. I yes, so I them. think they will make, they do look quite big, don't they? Um, yeah. But yeah, I think they would look, make an amazing cushion. So that's what I would do. Well, no, no, because I'm seeing, you know, when you're on Escape to the Country and they go to the, and they always have a big um, uh, conservatory on the back or garden room or something like that. They'd look, or an orange tree like Hannah would have on hers. They'd look gorgeous in there. I can't wait to winter. see Hannah's new house. Uh, no, <laughs> this is her house that she's got, not the oh, new oh, one. Oh, okay. Overlooking the sea and oh, everything. Okay. But then in summer, they could go out onto the garden furniture if you have friends around or a picnic or still social distancing, whatever. But you can have lovely big cushions yeah. on your garden furniture as well. And then you could use the big quilt as picnic or anything like that. Oh, anyway, yes. anyway. So the first thing to do, yeah. and this is the thing that does take most time, John, right. is the cutting out. Right. So I would spend a good evening or maybe a morning just doing the cutting out because you need to have all the pieces ready when you make the houses. Right. You can't just think, oh, I'll cut that bit out later. So cut everything out. And me being me, John, I get a folder and I've put everything in there. So that's A and it tells me exactly what it is and that's B. Okay, so what, the so different sections are called A, B and C? Are they? They, oh, yes, you They said. are and each one of them, when I looked at it, um, when I first looked at the instructions, you go right down to the letter Q, John. Okay, uh, Paul, can I just sit, can we just see this here? You see there, so you, you've got it's a, a, you've got your fat quarter piece there, and it's actually telling you there's the A's, the B's, the D's, the H's, what you cut out of each fabric of your fat quarters. So it gives you a cutting plan straight away. If I do have time, which I probably won't, you know how I natter. Yeah. But no, if no, I do no, have I haven't time, chatted, I haven't chatted. if I have time late, no, I was talking about me then. I yeah. threw myself under then. Um, I will show you. I have saved one of the fat quarters to cut out. Okay, brilliant. Because it does make a difference. You can't cut out the eight and a half by eight and a half. You, you have to do it in a certain sequence okay. to be able to get them all. Right. Um, so that's the best thing. That's what I would do is get yourself a ring binder and some bags. And I reuse these bags all the time, John. So I, that's why I don't write on them yeah. because I can just slip inside. And then all you do is you follow the instructions. So I've done cut all my cutting out, what yeah. I need to cut out. And I just, I've had a little bit of a read and that is just simply showing the, you the stitch and flip method. And that means that you, you start with a square and then you put a, another square in the corner and cut and flip it over to create the illusion of a triangle because the house is behind me here. The roofs, um, that is a square piece. Oh, okay. And then you flip and stitch the corners on to create the roof. So it's this, and um, this will be really, really good for someone who's just starting out because it's a big project. Um, it is going to be time consuming, um, but just work through it steadily. So then all we need to do is that's just explaining a bit about the stitch and um, flip and then it's getting you started. Right. So all I'm going to do is do what it tells me. And the first thing you do, and I have started some of them because I, I don't want to keep repeating myself with things um, you just it's telling me here that I want an A and a K um, and then I want a B and a K right. and all that I'm doing here John is I'm doing this section here on the oh um, you're doing the, the bifold sorry. doors yeah. I'm, oh, the bif oh the bifold that's doors called, oh. yeah. so um, that's I've got so, sorry to interrupt yes. I've got something else I meant to tell you right that I didn't know that until just now we are struggling to find this anywhere else for sale in the United Kingdom. We found it on an American website. It's sold out there. Oh, here you go. Shipping to the UK. So if you bought it from that website in America, I can't see that from here. How much? How much? £58 to deliver. So if you bought it from that American site, it would cost you £58 to have it delivered. And how much was it in dollars? $130, right? It's not on there, Hannah's had to look on another page. $130 plus your 58 to have it delivered. So that's good. And we can't find it anywhere. I'm not saying it's not available anywhere else because there could be one little shop that... Ha oh, okay, it was on Etsy, but it sold out. Sold out on Etsy. So, so, but basically, it's very, very difficult to get hold of. And a Moda quilt for $139.99. The top and the binding. 
It's brilliant. Sorry, Wendy. It is very good there. value, actually. Right. So we've got um, our A and our Ks and our B and our Ks, and all that we're going to do is put them together to create the outside of that centre panel. So this is the first thing that you would do. Right. Now, it's entirely up to you what fabrics you choose, John. The, they do use the chimney. The chimney is the same colour as the bifold doors that we've now called them. Oh, right. So, yes, yes, yes. But if you don't want to put the chimney the same colour, don't. Well, and I don't know if Paul can see the middle one. Oh, this yeah. one in particular... Paul, can you see that middle yes, one? Yes, we can. He's done it beautifully. Yeah. In particular, I used all the same colourway in that one, if you notice. They're all the dark tones. Right. And I just wanted to show that you don't have to mix and match them. You can, if you wanted to, use the tones. Whereas all the other ones... I've just, used, and I'm going to show you how to do the roof in the stripe because that is very slightly different. In the book, she's got a wonky roof because right. of the way she's put her fabric. So I'm just going to show you how you can get your roof okay, going the right way. So all we do now is we just get our A and our K. And I'm, I, these rulers are brilliant, John, because um, you, you can see right through them. So you can see where you're going because I want to draw a line from one corner to the other. And you do need to take into consideration the thickness of your nib. I'm always going on about it, John, yeah. because you want to be as accurate as you can here the more accurate you can be at every stage the neater your end result will be and that's all I'm going to do okay I'm going to just draw a line from the rulers are rather fabulous isn't it oh, it's, is it I going into the side thing oh no main graphic main graphic I haven't got one to show you close up of it's 6.99 well you're it's not the having this one John. imperial quilting ruler one and a quarter inches by 12 and a half inches because it's got, it's got the it's, you can't and that's really a good a good point to make because normally when you put things on they go yeah. slip slidey that kind of sticks. and does is that the one that's got I can't see for me is it got a quarter of an inch marked on one side on one side down there yeah, brilliant. so it's very good and it's oh, 12 yeah, inches yeah, it's 12 nice. inches right 12 and a half inches mm, yeah okay. oh, and see that extra half is important to you men isn't it right so, while well, you started this morning John I am sorry right so um <laughs> I'll just look at the iPads if there's any complaints coming. <laughs> right, okay. Well, no, because my husband's a fisherman. So when he's caught a fish that big, I know it's really that big. Okay, fine. Um, so all we want to do now that is fish. get our pairs. So you want to make sure that you have the two the two lengths yeah. are the same because they go together because one is going to go down the shorter side and then of course when you've added it on, then the, the other sides will be longer. And then what you do, and what you, you want to create a kind of rooftop that's the effect that you're looking for okay. on the two pairs. So and you've got them going in opposite directions. You have, and so. that's just a quick way to remember, then you know you're on the right track. You just yeah. want them to make it look like a rooftop. And then we place them on the, the backing fabric as, as neat as you possibly can, because we're going to be sewing from one to the other and then folding back. So you're actually sewing on that line? On the line right this time, because yeah. I'm creating that stitch and flip effect. Yeah. And then, so this one, I do actually want to follow the line. Yes, because you're quite right, John. It would help if I turned the machine on. Sometimes you sew a quarter of an inch away if you want to cut. But this one, we're actually going to be folding. I did have a word with the machine in the break, John. Sounds better, yeah. Yes. I did have a word with it. It did promise to behave, but whether I'd behave, that's another thing, John. Exactly. Yes. And all I'm doing is sewing on the line for all four pieces. I'm just making sure that they are level. You can pin if you want to, but this is such a small piece that you're working with. Yes. It would actually hinder me. I, I'm not a great lover of pins if I don't need to use them, yeah. but you know, there is always a time and a place that you do need to use them. Okay, we've had a bit of a flurry on the phone lines, on the web lines. There's only tw the fewer than 25 now, which means 24. There's 24 of these left now. Wow. Wow. Oh, there, there's the final quilt. If you've made all, all the blocks, there it is. That's yeah. lovely, isn't it? That's really lovely. Fabulous. And what will you, you still keep them in your pairs, so you don't want to be sewing a long one to a short one. You want them both to be the same length. Yeah. Now, I don't know, you have got these in stock. I have got these in stock. For something, <laughs> that's very authoritative there, John. For something like this, because it's small, I would use this. And what you're going to do is you're going to push the fabric back before you cut it. Right. And the reason that we do that is so that you can actually line it up and you've got three layers of fabric and it's much more stable to get that crease. Whereas if I were to cut the back off first, it's going to be all wibbly wobbly. Exactly. We don't want to be wibbly wobbly. And then... Oh, they're about to sell out. Oh, right. sorry. That's right. No, no, that's what we're here for. We're selling things. Well, we like course, it with I know I'm here because, you know, just to sew. I mean, I love sewing. I would sew 24-7 if I could. 
Who needs sleep anyway, John? Now, when you've done that, yeah. um, you can iron them if you want to. Yeah. Um, but you don't want to put, I was rolling from below. You don't want to really push it along because you're going to stretch that yeah. on the bias. And now it's really important that we're only going to cut the back two layers off because if you cut them all off, then you won't have yeah, any. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And then I get the ruler and my rotary cutter and then I'm just going to cut. You don't have to be really, really accurate because this isn't going to be seen because that folds back and it's, yeah. it's not going to be seen too much. And we do that for all of them. So I'm just lining my quarter of an inch up with my blue line so that I know that what I've got left is a quarter of an yeah. inch. You can do this with your scissors if you wanted to. Yeah, because they're small uh, enough too, aren't they? They are, yes. <coughs> um, I did use some pinking shears as well. I don't. I wouldn't normally do that because I think I don't like to see the little like um, diamonds yeah, through. Yeah, no, 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 no. Um, I think very few people who do quilting use a, a, a pinking yeah. shear. See, I wouldn't normally, but see, I know that this one is going to come in and out and in and out and in and out. So I just wanted to protect some yeah. of the. And that's, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's all we do. So what I am going to do though, John, I am just going to press them now because what I want to do is get my pairs yeah. and then one of them I'm going to leave as it was. So I'm just going to iron it. And the other one, make sure I get the right length, the right one. I'm going to press that seam the other way now oh, okay. because I want to get that nest effect when yeah. I put the two together. Okay. Um, and I'm afraid we haven't got the pattern on its own because it all comes in the box from Moda from America. It hasn't, we haven't put the bundle together, so we haven't got the pattern on its own, I'm afraid. And you kind of do need that centre panel and because that's what makes now. it, doesn't sorry, it? Sorry. You do kind of need that centre panel and that's what comes in the pack. Because yes, that's yeah. what. And you get, um, I think you get 20, John. So you've got four left over anyway. What, 20 on that panel? One, yeah, two, I, I, no, no, I think you do. I, I think, I I think yes. I could, check, could you I check, check that for me? Because yeah. I have had a few sleeps since then, John. Well, you just said, well, who needs sleep? You well, yeah, who, but I have. And see, that's worse for me. Right. Yeah, and Paul said, and a few gins by the sound of I, things. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You get 24. You, how many did you need? I thought you got 20. No, you get 24. So where have you put the others? They're in my box. All right. Oh, they're in my box. I've stashed them in my box. They're yeah. in there. Anyway, um, so you get, so you get, so you're only going to make 16. 16. You only need 16 of these. So you're going to have, you're going to have 16, 8 of these left over. You won't have enough of the other fabric to do it with. No, but no, you'll no, have no. eight of those. But you've got eight of those to then play with. To I, they would make lovely placemats as well. So now we've got our two pairs. What yeah. we're going to do, we're going to put them together. And as I say, remember to put the same size ones. Yeah. And then we're just going to nest where they join at the top. And all that means is we're just going to butt them up to each other and you'll feel some resistance. And then it's really, really, really important, John, that yep. you use... I'm listening. Are you listening? Yeah. It's really that, important that's that you... That's unusual for you, isn't it? Yep. You don't normally listen no, to No, I'm me, very good at listening and talking. I can multitask. Oh. Right, it's very important what? Um, is that, first of all, you don't do what I've just done. Exactly. Exactly. Um, I thought I had changed my machine, but I've just turned it on. You want to make sure that you get it to your... Um, your quarter inch because what you need to make sure is when you come to put this here up here if you haven't done the right seam it's either going to be too long or too short yeah. so it might be an idea just to get a scrap piece of material don't use um, the best material here and then um, you'll be able to check that when you put the square on it fits right? and also gonna... don't make half fit on one machine and half on oh, another machine that's why yeah that's why I had to do some of that this morning um, oh, I've got my own picker, so oh, I'm going to use no, this. No, not one on the table. There was one on the table this morning. Because I was clean, I had to clean everything on that. I've got a quicker pick for sale. Oh. Oh, lovely. That's my most used, well, you could imagine, that's my most used piece I thought you'd pick. ask for it. Oh, no. No. Oh. <laughs> no, I hadn't actually, but you see, Hannah preempted. She knew what was going to happen, didn't she? Yeah. She knew what was going to happen. 2 99 Yeah, she knew what was going to happen. But they can edit that bit out, right, can't they, John? Yeah, because they can. Went right <laughs> live. Yeah, so just make sure that you are using your quarter of an inch. And they do exactly the same for the other one. Have we run out of time yet, John? No, not yet, but oh, I just okay. heard something make a funny noise. I heard that as well. That wasn't me. That was no, not no, me. No, no, it was something. It was like a... Yeah. Zzz, you know when you're in the Big Brother house? And it was almost like we were being watched, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, which one did you just move, Paul? 
Probably the one try for me to get my head out of the way. No, no, he'd have shouted. He'd have heard him by now. I know, he's being very loud in there today. And then with this one, uh, I am a fan of ironing over to the side because then it makes that, um, you don't get the, the gap in between the stitches. Yeah. But for this one, it would create too much too bulk. Much. So we just iron them open. And this yeah. will probably be where those silicon fingers are really handy, John. They're there. Oh, no, I might have moved them. The little, the little um, I think Teflon hide, fingers. Exactly. I think you're hiding everything from me no, today. No, 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 I don't no. need them now. I've I done tidied it. and I went, these oh, are found yeah. my Teflon fingers, but I don't know where to put them. That's where I would need a Teflon finger because yeah. it's... Well, your little prim. I have a little prim, but I don't think they're in stock at the moment, are they? No, because we now do the other one. This one? Uh, this is the oh, first... Oh, no, not that one. We've got another new little oh, one. Oh, have we? Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, I need to have a go on that one then. That's sold out. Oh, OK. Why not have a go on that one then? So now we've done that, yeah. and then we get to choose, and it tells you what to do. So we now need the panel units. So we go to the little bit where the panels are. Now, I will, I'm not going to lie, you will need to be a little bit careful how you cut these out, because they're, I think they're eight and a half inches, so make sure that you don't go on to the next part of the panel. Right. Maybe that's why they put extras on in case people oh, have done possibly, that. Oh, possibly. Possibly. So I'm going to choose that one, because that one's pretty. Just making sure it's not hasn't got any creases in it. Brilliant. Now, we've got two long ones and two short ones. Right. So it doesn't matter um, if you call them the top, the bottom, whichever, yeah. but you put the, um, the shorter ones on first because then that will give you the length to put the longer, the longer ones, ones on. on. And you have the little point, that's what it's called. You have the point facing inwards, but again, I guess if you wanted to have it going the other way, why, you could. I they put the point in there. See, naturally, I just did my own thing because that's what I do. And when I put them on, I put it on the other way, but... Hmm. Yeah, no, but I'm just thinking it might look quite nice with just the fabric. That's what I thought as well. So you could do that if you wanted to. If you want to do that, just ignore A and B. And yeah, just, and cut just your put, own. I put A and B together. Yeah. Yes. Just cut your own. So A and B, just I cut just those. I just don't know what they're I don't know. Oh, um, I don't want to be rude to the designer. Exactly. But I don't know what it's artistic flair, John. Yeah. And then all I'm going to do is sew down the side. Again, I'm not pinning because it's quite a small piece. Uh -huh. And if you've got your seam spot on, it will fit exactly. Exactly. Yes. Right. Hello. Uh, morning, uh, says Carol with an E. Loving all the demos. What machine is Wendy using? After using the thread cutter, does the thread nest underneath the material when you start sewing again? No, it doesn't, Carol. The machine is the... Are you on the 550? This is, yes, this is the 560. 560. Um, and 560. I don't know if... if Might not if be in we stock. Can get, if we can get oh, in okay. there. But that is, that is what you're left with. Is it come? Yeah, that's what you're left with. What are we looking for, sorry? The, the thread. So that's right. what you're left with when you've cut the thread from the thread yeah, cutter. Yeah, yeah. So if you cut it, what, what Carol's yeah, asking, does just, it go it, into no, the machine? Just, no, well, it, yeah, it's just disappeared. Yeah. It, it looks like it's not there, but it's there. Yeah. So, and that's what it leaves when you do that. Yeah. So we do exactly the same. Remember, you must do the two short ones first yeah. to opposite sides. We're doing the opposite sides first and just placing them together. And they do fit exactly because I did have a little play earlier. And again, you're just choosing whichever panel you want to go in the middle, aren't you? And oh, now, yes. Now I've said there's 24, be interesting to see what the repeat is. Yeah, I was looking at this one, Paul, to see if this repeated. You know, after the 24 on the panel. No, I think they're all, no, I think they are all different, I think. We could play snap, let's have a look. No, they are. They're I all different. They're. And all I'm doing is just pressing the stitches no, to... No, Oh, yes, they are. To bed the stitches in. And then... Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I, it's all right. You just carry on, John. I will. That's OK. Um, yes, they are. Oh, you wouldn't use that one. I um, notice you've not used that one. Well, I was going to use that one for the demo. There it is. I was going to use that one, but I picked this one up first. Okay. Do you, what, what's the matter with that one? Because it's got no orange on it. Look, it's oh. just green leaves on its own. See, but I liked that because I thought you could do your own embellishment. Yeah. If you had a cushion. I wouldn't do it on the quilt. No, you I wouldn't want say. to be... Uh, you wouldn't want to quilt with embellishment in case it like scratched you, but definitely for a cushion. Or wall hanging, Hannah's saying. She's or wall, wall hanging, hanging, I like. So now I've just done the two sides, yeah. or the top and the bottom, whichever way around. It doesn't matter what you call it, because now you put the, the other ones on, um, and you'll see that they, I've ironed the seams open, that they fit perfect. And that's literally because I had to play with the machine to make sure that I found exactly uh, the right 
width of stitch that I needed. That's all I'm going to do, just sew these ones in. Yeah. This looks like it's the most tricky bit of the it is. whole block. It is. And then when you've got this, it comes together really quickly after this. So we'll uh, probably be able to have a cup of tea after. I need to warn you, there's only 15 left now. That's at half past 10 Ooh. on Friday morning. Have a look, see if you can find it anywhere else. We can't find it anywhere else in the UK. We found it that was on it. You see, sometimes on those selling sites, though, they say this set all sold out. You know what I mean? As it, I'm, I'm not trying to blame anybody, but sometimes you think, did you? Did you? But they're also, yeah, Hannah's, comp I know why you're so funny about this, because she ordered a scarf one Christmas from America and to have it shipped over. It was, it, it, it was a quilt designer, wasn't it? It had their own scarves. No, she couldn't afford the shipping to get it over because the shipping ended up not being more expensive than the scarf, but was so expensive to get the scarf over here. And she couldn't get it delivered to a friend in America to then send it over, so. Also, have you seen um, Anna Maria Horner's houses for sale? <gasps> oh, it's beautiful. No pool, though. No, well, actually, not Paul, not Paul, pool. Um, it was $1.2 million, right? Now, I know that sounds a lot of money. It's a palace, right? It's a palace, right? You, my little house in Twickenham, no, I haven't got it anymore. That's selling for over a million pounds now for a little Victorian terraced house. Do you know what I mean? So a mansion like that in America is, oh, it's, it's so beautiful. I can't tell you. It's on my, oh no, I didn't put it on my Facebook. Anyway, carry on. So that's that centre panel finished. And that, you're quite right, John, is the hardest bit. Yes. That is the hardest bit. So we've done that. We just put it to one side and then simply work through the instructions. No, I didn't. Once I'd made one, I just found my own way. Right. So it's very easy. Once you've made one, you'll be fine. Yeah. So now it's telling you that we want to construct the this side of the house, okay. which we're going to do. The gable end. And I'm going to choose, I'm going, it's telling me I need an E. So I go to my E folder. E folder. And I'm just going to, mm, let me see what I fancy. I'm going to have that one, I think. Okay. Yes, I am. I'm going to have that one. But of course, then I also want um, the F to be in the same fabric as that one. So I go to my F. And, I and just, you need two of those, do you? You need two of those because we're creating the front door part. Yeah. It could be, mm, let's say mm. put it in the same fabric. But I'm wondering if I might make a couple with a different fabric. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. No, no, no. But that, you can do exactly yeah. what you like. So that's that. And then it's also telling me that I need a G. Yeah. So let's go. Let's, what should we do with the front, the Ooh, front door? The I'm going to have a green front door. Okay. Yes, I'm going to have a green front oh, door. Oh, sorry, Carol. So Carol says, I meant when you sew the next oh, item, okay. yes. does it start off nesting? I have the 570A, which I love, but that's what happens. Any tips? No, hang on. So, so. I know, no, I know exactly what she okay. means. I, it hasn't with me, but I always try and sew a little bit on the material because no machine likes to sew off material. All right. So um, I know what I, I do know what she means though, because sometimes it can start nesting and all snag up and that. Right. So, with if you start in two or three millimeters actually on the fabric and then maybe reverse to the edge and then back yeah, again. Yeah, also people have um, thread catchers, not, they're not called catchers, are they? The thread ends or whatever, where you literally butt it up against that one and just run over it to, mm. before you start the next That's one. a jolly good idea as yeah. well, because as I say, not re no machine really likes to no. sew on just no. air. It likes to sew on some material. So you see, so you would do them different, John, would you? Mm. No, not different. No, no. I might do oh. the two either side of the door frame the different, different to the upstairs oh, one. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, it all has to match. Right, right so, so yes, that's that side of the house. So all we're going to do is create the door now. Right, and because it's a big door, isn't it's it? It's a huge door, huge door. I could just imagine it this time of year adorned with, with Christmas and decorations. Oh, that'd be lovely. And wreaths and everything. That'd Ang be lovely. says, morning all. Love this duo, a lot of knowledge between them. Oh, that was obviously for the last hour, was it, Ang? <laughs> Oh, another one about Paul and Hannah. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. A lot of knowledge between. It's because we're both so old, that's why. <laughs> it's 
not knowledge, it's water under the bridge, Ang. Been there, done that. Yeah. Got, did you see my T-shirt today? Yes. Have you seen the T-shirt, everyone? Show everyone your T-shirt. It's because it's Christmas sweater day today. Ah, and but, she, she yes. can't wear a Christmas sweater because of her hot flashes. So she has to wear a T-shirt, right? So she had the T-shirt printed from... Uh, no, no. Yeah, I did it, though. Yeah, no, but yeah, you had the, yeah. uh, the, the logo printed from... The, the bag, the, the bag, bag that we made morning. in the previous hour. So it would have been ideal to talk about it in the yes, bag Yes, it would hour. have done, wouldn't it? But you got me all like, all like behind, didn't you? Oh, yeah, oh, I did. Yeah, yes, you did. Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm going to blame you anyway. So I've is made... this... Oh. So all I'm doing is ironing the seams. Claire says, is the little bit of starter fabric called the donkey? <laughs> oh, it is! Oh, now apparently Hannah said, uh, uh, well, the thing is, she's done so much chatting this morning, I don't know if she's talked to me or little Paul, and she was saying, Paul, you're a donkey, donkey. I've never heard it called that before. Yes, it is. Oh. Emma Bradford calls it donkey. I've obviously, I've obviously zoned out by then. And who? <laughs> I don't know why Gino DeCampo would need a donkey, but there you go. I don't know what you two are talking about half the time. Just Sorry, leave them Wendy. To it. Shush, shush, Just shush, leave shush, them because Wendy will get they're complained. They're happy. Yeah. I won't complain. I don't ever complain, John. Well, you did. You keep going on about how, how I've taken up all your minutes in the first hour. <laughs> right, okay, so hang on. So you've I'm, done the door I've, and the door I've frame. Done, but now I'm looking for my, what I want to do for the roof. Now, what I would like to do to show you is I'd like to do it. Striper, you said. Yes, I'm going to do it striper. I've got to find the piece for the roof. What letter is it? It's D and C, I believe. So let me have right. well, it. might not be C. I know it's D, so that's that one. There we go. Oh, I'm feeling very organised with this today. Right, and there. So I've got my roof, don't look Right, okay. So I've now got... you said the, the stripy one's done differently to... Well, in the picture, if you look at the roof in the picture, on, um, at the front. Yeah. So if you look at... The second picture in, just under where the label is. Oh, she's done the stripe the in two different ways. To, yes. So I just thought, oh, no, there must be a way. You know how L my let brain Let me show is. you at home what I'm talking about. Paul, it's very small. <laughs> He'll be fine. He's just coming in now. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so you see here they've got stripes going that way on that bit of the roof and that way on that bit of the roof. You're he's do... good, isn't he? He's good. Well, he's had a lot of practice. And... Um, well, you're doing it differently, are I, you? Well, yeah, I'm only one, I, I'm just, it's just like, I like everything the same way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, this is going to be the top, the, the left-hand side of the house. And what you're going to do, you're going to create the, the shape of the roof by doing this. Right. Okay, so that's how we're going to do it. Okay. But already you can see, by me doing that, Your stripes going the stripes are going the wrong way. So, all you need to do is turn them round the other way. And now, when I do the roof, all my stripes uh, are going okay. in the same got it, got way. It, got it, got it. Yeah. So that so depends what you want, really. Which well, one? it is, yeah. yes. But if because I like them all the right way. Um, yeah. So what you just need to do is place it down first and turn it over because that's how you're going to do it. Yes. And if you find like I did it like this, if you find that that it's the wrong way, yeah. just turn it round. But you can't cut the big one out with the stripes going the other way if you wanted it the other way. No, I think... Because it might not sit properly on your fat exactly, quarter. Exactly, because the fat quarter is very, very accurate. Yeah. Okay, but perfect. so now I know that I've got to draw my line down here. Yeah. So I'm just going to draw, again, a line from corner to corner. Brilliant. And I'm also just going to do it on a plain piece because the other side of the roof is plain. It's the sky. Right, so Christine... Uh, hang on, so Claire had said she called it a donkey. Christine calls it a thread saver because that's what Jenny Raymond calls it. Oh, okay. And then I've seen some pictures of Jenny Raymond. She's a saucy old thing, isn't she? <gasps> and then Princess Watts, it says, I've always called it a leader and a follower. Oh, I like that. Yeah, like that. Oh. Oh, I like that. Now, I am going to no. pin this one. John, I don't normally pin, okay. but I want oh. to make sure that this is it uh, doesn't move. because yeah, it's, it's, oh, it is a bit bigger, It's a little it, so. bit more substantial, this bit, isn't it? And then I'm just going to sew. And again, we sew on the line for this one. Yeah. Now, that one I sewed off, interestingly, and it's fine. It hasn't snagged at all. Yeah. So that's good. I can't promise it every time, because actually, more often than not, John, it's me. It's my user error. Yeah. But brilliant. 
and I'm doing exactly the same as I did before. So I'm ironing it over before I cut off because then I can get that as neat as I possibly can because yeah. you do have a little bit of wiggle room if you need to. Am I okay for time? Mm. Am I okay for time? Yeah, yeah, you're fine. You've got 20 minutes. Oh. There we go. And then again, we just pull the top layer back and then cut the excess off. I wouldn't actually be tempted to leave it because that's going to make no, parts No, no, I've your... got a little tip here. Oh, oh yes, right, please, okay, please, before yes. Before you cut it, are you going to do another yes, one? Yes, I'm going do, do to it do it on the other one. So we've you. done that one. Yeah. So now we do the other side. Yeah. So what, you, what you're, you're looking for is you want it to create that. So we don't want to be sewing into the centre. Yeah, just push so it a little bit further forward so you can see it. That's it. Um, yeah, but then my head follows. Right. That's right. Um, so hang on. What happens at the, where the two fabrics meet in the middle there? Do they meet? They meet, yes. Right. Right. So do you run over? Yes. No, no, I'm asking. Oh, you... no, I thought you got a little trick for no, me. No, 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 right. no, no. The trick yes. is after you've stitched it. Ah, because what you'll notice that it has gone over a little bit. Yes. So that because what you want is when you sew your quarter of an inch seam down here, it's going to get on that point. Oh, so it's like a flying geese, isn't it? It's you need it to wrap, it, so you've got the seam exactly, around, so then exactly. the point doesn't go into. The point should be a quarter of an inch from the yes, edge, yeah, so that yeah. when you sew your quarter of an inch, it's it's on yeah. point. Could go anywhere with me though, John. So don't don't expect you know, don't expect miracles today. Christmas Day miracles. That's what we're waiting for. <laughs> well, we're all here. Me, Hannah, and Paul are all I here. I know Christmas you morning. are. Right, now don't cut it, right? Uh, what I would now do is, is I would oh, sew another line yes. half an inch away from that line into your, spe you know, half, half an inch. Ha oh gosh, half an inch, yeah. yeah. Away from that line. Yes. Right the way down. I'm going, I'm getting there. And then you get your rotary cutter and you cut between those two lines. Oh no, hang on. Okay. No, 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 I'm right, I'm right, I'm okay. right, I'm right, I'm right. right. So right. now you cut, you cut between those two yeah. lines. Okay. Oh, I know, oh, you're clever. So, no, no, I've only learnt it from the ladies on here. So I was actually just thinking, what on earth are you talking no. about? But so of take course, this away, right, yes. so that bit there you can fold Is back that? and that's right. And, and then you've, you've got, got wow. a square. And you're more likely in your scraps to use that Absolutely. as a square than you a little will. triangle. Well, do you know what? I'm never going to do it. I'm going to do no, it. No, no, no. Always just, do it that way yeah. now. It's just if you, if you're, because you're a person who, uh, no, I tight. would have just thrown it away. I'd just tight. put it in the you bin. Mean I'm tight, Whereas John, you've don't got you? boxes with all your half square triangles. <laughs> that way, you're going to use that square more likely than you are a little triangle. Well, that's revolu That's my that's my tip that you've given me for today. There you go then. No, well, I'm liking yeah. that. Yeah. So we've now created our roof, and okay. we've got it a quarter of an inch down, so that when yeah. we sew across, mm -hmm. so our little house is coming together. So we've got our... You see, that's the size the house normally is. You know that's what I, what I that's thought it was what going I thought to be. That's were going to be, that size. But of course, you've got the whole the downstairs. And as I started cutting out, I thought, this is going to be massive. Yeah. So, and again, because I've um, gauged it right on the machine, this fits exactly. So I just put the two pieces together. Yeah. And I promise you, I mean, I might be making it look hard because, you know, I'm in one of those today, to be perfectly honest. Well, you're not John. making it look hard, it's fine. But it is a very, very easy project yeah. to put together. Very easy. And I'm just going to sew all the way along. Just making sure they line up, which they do. And I'm using a 2.4, 2.5 stitch length. Some yeah. machines, my machine at home doesn't do like even numbers. It does the odd number. So I do a 2.5 or a 2.4. So now we've got our side of the house. Okay. That's one side finished. I'm just going to press it back. And the brilliant thing about this project is, you know, like normally you have to line up loads of like intersections and that. This one you don't because they're the big pieces. Yes. So we've done that. So now we're going to make the other side. And we're going to put the roof on now. Right. So again, it's exactly the same. We create the roof by making that corner. So that's what we're going to do. And this time we don't have to worry because it's plain. Oh, they're very quiet in there, John, aren't they? They've stopped no, bickering. No, they're they stopped bickering. Oh, are they talking? Yeah. Oh, I thought they'd stop bickering. 
They, talk, they don't want us to hear. That's why they, when oh, they talk they, like that. They are whispering, they aren't they? they are Hannah whispering. stepped away from the computer. Oh, that's oh, we're in trouble. And then, then little Paul's just got nod in his head. Yeah, we're in trouble, aren't we now? Oh dear. I'm going to run when it's when our times. They over. are talking. So, they are just so everyone knows the management are watching. They're talking sewing terms. I don't think they are. Are they watching? I don't think management are watching today. They are. I just went through the break. Okay. Not the, but when I say management, there's only Neil in the office. We haven't got an office. But he's very people. important. No, no, he's very important. But I'm just saying, it sounded like everyone's in the office. They're not at all. They all work from home at the moment. So when you do this at home then, um, John, what you should do is then you should sew a second line so that when you cut in between those two lines, this is magic, you've yeah, probably yeah. not seen this before, have you? No, maybe no, not. No, no, no. And then, look, I've got a half square triangle. Oh, that's good, because you're more likely to use that. Exactly. Aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, honestly, that is, that is revolutionary. <laughs> Jane Alcock taught me that. Isn't it funny? I've been sewing how many years? Um, and I'd never done that before, but it makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Right, so now my roof is finished. Ten minutes you got left, Wendy. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. And the good thing about these, they're, most of them, it doesn't really matter which way up. Oh, no, because they're like the Hawaiian... Hawaiian so I have yeah. been doing it this way. I could have been doing it wrong because I didn't read the instructions. But I've been doing it so that you've got the shorter one at the top. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They it's are, like, it's yeah. like when you yeah, border exactly. a quilt. It doesn't matter if they go across the top no. of the sides. But it? that's the way I was doing it. Yeah. But it might say different in there. But that this, this brilliant thing about this is that you can see once you can see how it goes together, then you can pretty much do it. Yeah. I think John, this has been my favourite project so far. Oh, has it? Yeah. Although I did like the flying geese, the first one that I was given, the flying geese. I did like that one, but I think That's this is my favourite. That's before my time, that one, isn't it? Oh yeah, sorry, because you're new here, aren't you? New. No. Yeah. You're the new boy, aren't you? Yep. Well, now we've got a new, new person oh, now. Wendy yes. was on yesterday. Wendy's a new person. Oh, she was on yesterday. I loved watching her yesterday. Oh, this is happening. Well, you love watching me? N no. No! no. <laughs> <laughs> you just make me giggle. I'm here, a very professional. You make, no, you just make me giggle. Doesn't take much to set me off though, John. No. All that iron's been busy today. But it needs to be because you need to make sure that you iron and press every step of the way yeah. so that they match. And now we've got our house. It is like a barn. Like it a is, barn isn't conversion. It? It, <laughs> oh, I'd love a barn conversion. I would love that. Because they have very high ceilings, well, don't they? Well, I always think that when they go to um, escape to the country, but mm. how do you dust up there? Mm. Well, I wouldn't. Well, I and don't dust you, yeah, in my own house. Bulb, exactly. mm. don't, I don't dust in my own house. Okay, well, but, well, no, I'm not saying you have to go and dust the ones on escape to the country, <laughs> but how do you change the light bulb? Oh. Mm. Unless they're ones you can winch down, you know, like in oh, yeah, you'd have time. to, wouldn't you? You'd have to. So there is, so all we need to do is we need to give the house a chimney now. And grass. Oh, and grass. Should we do the grass? Let's do the grass first. Yeah. So let's go and find my grass. There it is. Yeah, you have got that, Paul. It's got such high ceilings, all the heat rises up, so your heating building oh, is bigger. Oh, yeah. You'd have to be like in, in that, what's the um, Mary Poppins when they're all sitting having tea on the ceiling? Be all right then, wouldn't you? Well, yeah, not many of us can do that. What's the matter, man? <laughs> Oh, yeah, while Wendy's doing this, she's just pr pr pressing and doing a straight line. So I'm literally just putting the grass on the bottom. Okay, okay. got Alan's picture because I said you <gasps> could send it in on this hour. Here it is. Oh, the writing's too small for me to read, Jeff. Tell me what it says. Hello, John and Sewing Street team. Here's my patchwork cushions. Right, hang on, with a plastic template carry case and table runners from Alan. Thank you, Alan. There's so many wonderful creations, isn't there? Mm. There are some very, very talented people out there. And then there's us here. <laughs> <laughs> you walked into that one. I did walk straight into that one. I, I smacked myself right in the nose with that one, didn't I? Oh, Kathleen has emailed him. Oh, oh. She loves this quilt. And she says, will you two shut up? <laughs> 
Oh, Kathleen, she's she's suffer, uh, she's recovering from a chest. Oh, I've just touched my nose again. She's re recovering from a chest infection, oh. and we're cheering her up. Oh, thank oh. you, Kathleen. So she didn't really tell us to shut up. No. <laughs> John. Listen, if she said that, I'd be going, right, write her name down, we're blocking her. It hasn't been the first time someone said that to me. What, to you to shut up? Yeah, and it won't be the well, last. Well, you do surprise me. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. I, I'm actually like this 24-7. Oh, that your poor husband needs a medal. <gasps> How can you Is that say? why he goes fishing? <laughs> and golf. Oh, right. <laughs> and football. Oh, there you go. So you don't really see him much then. <laughs> oh, dear. That's actually quite a pretty one, isn't it? Because normally, normally you normally. get like, you know, like when you get to the end of a packet and you've got all like the not very nice ones left. There's no not exactly. very nice ones in this. They're, all, it's be mowed up. they're all beautiful, aren't they? But okay. you know what I meant. Yeah. So now what we're just going to do is we're just going to put the chimney on. And this is super, super. You're looking at me. So, so yeah, it needs to be easy and quick. Now. No, no, you've got seven minutes. Oh. No, because you were going to show something else, weren't you? Yeah, well, only if I had time to cut it out. Yeah. So I'm just looking for the top. Mm. Now, shall we go rogue and have a different colour chimney? Do you know I'm going to do it? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna go rogue and have a different colour chimney. That's They're that. The same. Oh no no no! Then you're supposed to have the same. Oh colour chimney oh, what do you mean? I thought you meant you're gonna have alternate coloured chimneys. Actually, that wouldn't work because you're fire, not, not you, not you. The design of the house because the, that means your chimney breast will be against your front door. If you look where that chimney is, mm. so that wouldn't yeah. really work. That's not good, is it? So I'm just looking for my chimney pieces. Where are you? Got you. Right. So you need two of the shorter. Yeah. And one of the longer. They're exactly the same width. And I've got a little tip instead of reading the instructions, John, because that's, let's face it, that's what it's all about. We just like to sew, don't we? Yeah. Is take, because the long one goes in there, it goes like that. Yeah. So take the long one and then sew one of these right side to each end. Right. So still using your quarter of an inch seam allowance and a 2.45 stitch. Sorry, 2.4 to 2.5, yeah, not yeah. a 2.45. I don't think any machine's got that. Well, I think I think the stitch is basic because a lot of people, when they do cutting, do smaller, uh, more, uh, smaller stitch than that. But because you have to unpick so often, I suppose the bigger <laughs> stitch is better for you. Um, uh, yeah, it's my friend. It's my favourite friend. So I've got the centre, and then all I do is right sides together. Again, it's the material is beautiful on both sides. So yeah. I could have sewn the wrong side on all of those, um, but you wouldn't notice. Well, you probably would, John, wouldn't well, you? No, no, no. You would, but you're too polite to say, aren't you? No, I don't you're know what really. you're talking exactly. about. I'm still behind. I'm still on. He goes to golf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Brilliant. So that is, that's it. That's my top section. And what I like to do is um, iron on the dark side. So I iron them in. Right. And then turn it over and just because you want to make sure that it's ironed to its maximum. So because sometimes when you do iron on the um, other side, it's not quite as wide as it could be. Right. So there we go. And then shall I pin this time or not? It's up to you. Oh, I don't know because uh, I haven't been. But I'm just thinking again, you can see that that fits. But you want it to match. You need to. Well, the thing is. You say that, but every single one of these I haven't pinned and I've started, as long as I start uh, yeah, right okay. in the corner. Yeah. No, no, it's fine, I'm joking. <laughs> You're going to be inspecting that later, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, I know you are. But yes, you can pin if you want to. But again, you, there's not really, you can pin the intersection here, um, but I haven't and it doesn't really notice. They are a very unusual mix of colours together, aren't they? They're just, they just remind me of spring. They're just That's so what Mojo do, isn't it? It's gorgeous. And as I say, John, it is really well worth just sitting at your machine for five minutes before you start sewing yeah. to make sure that you absolutely get that material, uh, to get that seam spot on at a quarter. And that, oh, I, I'm actually in a little bit of state of shock at the moment, John. I finished something. <laughs> this never happens. Well, you made a block. <sighs> <laughs> Could have finished the whole book. I do want you, though, to, um, there's a tape measure hanging on the board behind the Behind the quilt. hinder. 
Just to work, because you, you, there, 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 to your right, there, there, by that bauble on the corner. <laughs> Just measure how big the, the block is, because we were saying earlier, we think it's about... Oh! Yeah, 18, just under, well, just under 18 and a okay. half, so that means I will just check the other way that it shouldn't be 18 and 18 and a half, but I thought it was, well, that's 18, uh, eight, yeah, about 18 and a half, so okay. it's a, quite a considerable... Yeah, so it's a big block, it is a, a big minute. block. That's 18 and a half. Yeah, it's, it's big. Yeah. Because you, don't forget, you put your sashing on. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the brilliant thing is, I love cornerstones, I really do, but it saves you having to match any of them up because you just sew them together that way, yeah. and then you sew them together that way. So. Brilliant. Right, how many, is that it? Have we run out of time? Okay, just recap. So I haven't got time for you. You were going to show us how to Doesn't cut matter. out. Well, it's your own fault. <laughs> right, here we go. Then let's do a quick recap. Um, it's called Coriander Quilts by Corey Yardley. No, Yoda. Yoda, sorry. Uh, friendly Neighbour, right? They've quilted theirs beautifully. When you come to get it long arm quilted, or if you do it yourself, they've done it in rainbows. Anyway, anyway, so you get it in the box, it arrives in the box like this. Oh, sorry, let me get that in the right place. There you go. So it arrives in the box like that. Inside the box, you get a little thank you note, not personalised, obviously, a little thank you note. Then you get your instructions, which are absolutely thorough, because all the letters, you even get how to cut out from the fat quarters and things like that. Then, I'll come back to that one in a minute. And I'll come back to that one in a minute. You get all, and that one in a minute. You get all of, no, that one in a minute. You get all of these... Fat quarters, right? Now, that's funny, isn't it? Because you get 16 fat quarters, but you do get 24 of the, of the um, motifs. But they're all Moda, 100% cotton, machine washable, quilting weight fabric. Beautiful, isn't it? So you get all of those. Then you get this, which is your background fabric. Then you get this, because these are different sizes, these pieces. That's your grass. Then you get this, which is your binding, but you also have a piece of that here as part of your house as well. So make sure that when you cut your, your house out, you don't cut it out of the binding piece. And then you get this panel. This panel has got 24 motifs on it, like that Hawaiian applique motifs. So you won't use all of those, you'll have eight left over. Gorgeous, isn't it? Lovely colours. And all of that, now, first of all, we couldn't find it for sale in the UK. Secondly, we found it for sale in America. Well, it was sold out in America, but the shipping cost to the, Ameri to the UK was $56 or something like that. Um, we found it on Etsy, but they said they'd sold out. $139.99. Now, we, we started off with so many. How many are left, Hannah? Twelve. Twelve. Once everyone's checked out the baskets, there are twelve of those available at 5 to 11 on... Ha that was one thing when... Um, Hayley was producing me last week. What day did she do? Was it, was it sat on the light? I kept saying, J don't say there's 12 left. Say there's 12 left. And she kept, she had a terminology and I didn't, re what she was basically saying was at this time on this day. In reality, no, I don't want to do it, no. But hey, that, she'll be watching from home moaning about me, won't she? So, um, at 10.55 on Friday, the 11th of December, we had 12 left. With 14 days left to go to Christmas. Delivery is in five to seven days. Oh, oh, I didn't do the batting. Sorry, shall I do this very quickly before I go? Cotton batting, queen size. This is, oh, right, this is good. This is a 90 by 108 inches, so you'll have that extra because you always cut your batting a bit bigger, don't you? 80, 20, 80% 80 cotton, 20% polyester. Message from Elizabeth that says, Hi, John, really enjoyed the shoe. That's pavers, Liz. That's when I'm on pavers, not here. No, I think she means the show, obviously. Sorry. Glad you're enjoying yourself. Uh, uh, anyway, listen, I better get on. Uh, the next hour, you've just got me on my own, I'm afraid. So uh, maybe you'll want to... Oh, no, don't go anywhere, because I've got all these kits I've never seen, all the uh, elf kits I've never seen before. And I've got Amber... <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, and I've got all sorts of things. Anyway, and then Wendy will be back in Yarn Lane at 12 o'clock to do a very big cushion cover. Um, all right, I'm going to go. I'll see you in four minutes, three, three minutes from now. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page.
Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewists together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools. and find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. My baby piece of kiss with the sewing is the same with that. Hello, I'm Janice from Birmingham. I specialise in dressmaking. I used to run a children's shop and I love making children's clothes. My mother encouraged me to sew from an early age. When we were young, we did dressmaking in school. My claim to fame was the sewing quarter, but I'm now making also jumpsuits for the ladies and men of all shapes and sizes and it seems to be going for the festivals around the country. See you on the show! Hi, I'm Wendy Orlando and I'm a craft blogger. You can find me over at thecraftyco.com and if you do head on over and have a peep, you will see that I'm a tutorial blogger. I do all kinds of crafts, but my passions are crochet, knitting and sewing, which I've done for over 45 years. In that time, I've made lots of mistakes but I have learnt lots of tricks and top tips that I can't wait to share. What I'd like to bring to the Sewing Street table is to show that you don't need to have gone to university or have a degree in design to be able to sew. You just need passion, a bit of courage to take the first steps and a whole lot of patience. Oh, and an unpicker. You will need an unpicker. I do hope that you will follow me as I take my Sewing Street journey and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools? and find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Why did it say, why did it say Yarn Lane there? Was that the end of an advert? Oh, God, I was going to say, I'm not, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for Yarn Lane yet. Um, now, this, now, I've not seen any of these before, you know. I've not seen any of these before. Just leave them on the end of the table there, Hannah. Get back in your box. There you go. Right, I will, I don't worry, I'll pick them up with tweezers. Right, so this hour is all about, I know I'm on a different table, aren't I? I can't get comfortable. Is this desk lower than that one? Because I can get my legs underneath that desk, but I can't get my legs underneath this desk. Anyway, where were we? Christine. Ha, ha, ha. Hang on. I, sorry, I've got to put my glass on for the rest of it. I'm enjoying my boots that are actually from Pavers. <laughs> Thank you, Christine. Um, very comfy and warm. So perfect for my lollipop lady job. Ah, oh, Christine, the lollipop lady. 
Did you do what? Oh, yes, I did. Oh, well, I'm going back over there. You'll see the signs of Christmas. I took the quilt down because I thought we were going to Yarn Lane. I got very confused. Anyway, let's do uh, some patterns on their own. I've got three patterns on their own to start with. Right, now I need to warn you. I need to warn you because everything's on pre-order. What is it? A third of this stock has gone, did you say? A third of the stock of these gone. There's the elf. Now, it's not the kit. It's not the kit. First time we've ever offered the pattern on its own. I've left it there because I'm going to open it now. Have you not seen the elf before? Uh, Delphine did them in a couple of different colours. She had like a red and a green one and an orangey one. I don't want you coming on my set. Get off. Leave it on that table over there. No, don't show her. <laughs> she has to stay over in that set. You see, she's not allowed in my set. She was trying to get me the elf. I know, I'll go and get it. She couldn't reach it, so I'll go and get it. Right, have a look at this pattern. Poor old Hannah. She's all dressed up today as well. wonder if she's got... Right, I'm here. I'm here. Now, you don't get the kit, you just get the pattern, right? Um, it's called Elfred the Elf. Step by step. Well, he's got his feet, right? Uh, step by step instruction on how to. Now, it came with a panel originally. So we were like this one, oh, we can't do that. We haven't got the panel. We haven't got the panel. Do you know what? You get everything here, right? So these are all the instructions, right? Look, 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 look. All the instructions, all the photos. Everything's there. But look, you even get all the templates. All in there, right? Everything you need. Leg, hand, arm, oh, bottom, well, body rear, I presume that's the bottom, isn't it? Front body, ear. She was a lovely girl, wasn't she? She used to work here, didn't she? Yeah. What's that there? Oh, it's a hat. Rhea. There was a girl called Rhea that used to sit next door to me. Yeah. Anyway, 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 anyway. So there you go. Uh, 9 .99. First time we've offered... Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to bang the table. First time we've offered them on their own. Right, limited now. Limited, limited, limited. Flying out. Very, very popular. So, uh, she even tells you at the beginning here, you'll be able to make this out of your stash, look. What you need here are... Can you see that there? I'll read it anyway. Green, red, cream fabric, brown, pink craft felt. Black embroidery skein, rotary cutter, scissors, pins, pen, needle and thread, toy stuffing, iron on his facing, sewing machine, iron and pressing mat. Oh, yeah, seasoning it's called, isn't it? No, you don't go to a restaurant, do you, and ask for seasoning? Yeah, I thought salt seasoning was salt and pepper. I don't know, because I've never been to a restaurant and asked for stuffing, so I wouldn't know. Jan says, love your new shirt, John. Oh, this is weird. Got Facebook open to send message. And I know what you're going to say on TV before it's broadcast. Good morning, says Lo. Lovely watching you while we're working hard like Christmas elves. Have you made Jeff put his little hat on and his apron? Yeah, you could wear your elf hat on Christmas Day if you want, Paul. If it'll make you feel better. Well, I've got to drive straight after the show, though, haven't I? Paul's going to wear Santa. He'll, I'll get him on skirt. He's going to wear Santa's outfit on Christmas Day. What will you be wearing, Hannah? <laughs> She's going to. Are you going to your mum's, mum and dad's? Yeah, so she'll have to wear something clean, she says. Laurie, morning, John. I've been really enjoying the show this morning. So cheerful and jolly. Makes me smile. And laugh. How are you and Harvey getting on? Oh, Harvey. Harvey is Dulcie's cat. So Dulcie's um, uh, had to be away for, uh, well, two weeks. So I'm having Harvey. Anyway, he's settled in. He's settled in. So, I mean, he's just adorable. He really is. But like Norman and Nelly were like tiny, tiny, tiny little cats like this. He's this big old bruiser. Like, like that. He's gorgeous. Though. He's absolutely lovely. And this morning, that's why I was a little bit late this morning. Because I woke up. And he wasn't on the bed, and I thought, oh, I wonder where he is one. Then suddenly he was there, and he was all nuzzly and everything like that, because he was a bit earlier than normal. Anyway, Alfred the Elf, 
About to sell out, about to sell out. Right, you go. Another pattern I've got for you now from the lovely Helen Newton. Cara Delevingne uh, made these. I'll do the driving home for Christmas one first, if that's right, because I've actually got a cushion to show you for this one. So this is a sewing pattern by Helen Newton. Oh, yeah, now I have got this one in the bundle as well. Before you run in and buy this, I have got this one in the bundle as well. This is what it makes. Oh, I go, got a picture of it there. There it is. That's what it makes. I've, this is the pattern on its own if you want to use your own stash, but I have got a bundle with a panel on it. So the panel on its own, the pattern on its own. Say that again. Oh, lots of you checked out of this on pre-order already. So there's all your temp, these are all your um, uh, templates. Oh, I see. So I'm thinking the panel is just, I, I thought the panel had already got these in the shapes, but I'm thinking the panel... Right, in a minute, I'll be, the next thing I'll show you after this will be the panel and the bundle and everything. So now the bundle I've got isn't quite the same colour as the one I've just shown you. The bundle I've got is a different colourway. It's the red colourway, not this colourway. Right. 9 99 driving home for Christmas. Home for Christmas. Did On Radio 2, we haven't talked about this, so. On the first of... Oh, we are again. Who we used to sit next to. The theme to the show. Oh, did you? No, no. Hannah, no, you're going in and out, I think, today. Um, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, on Radio 2, they played Christmas tunes all day on the 1st of December. And for the first half an hour, it was lovely. And then it was like, oh, OK. Right. So that's a sewing pattern by Helen Newton. The pattern's about to sell out. The pattern's about to sell out, right? Okay, so I've got a bundle for this one, but it's a different colourway to the one I just showed there. In fact, I think it's the same as the colourway on the pattern. You do get the instructions. You do get a fat quarter. Yeah, that's a fat quarter of red. And you do get some calico. Right? Is that a fat quarter of calico as well? Or is that half a metre? No. No, that's half a metre of calico. Sorry, that's half a metre of calico. Right? And then you get the panel, right? Here's the panel. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll put it out of the table now for you. Oh, so yeah, the shapes aren't already cut out, right? Look, there are, there's the panel. But it actually says, look, this is the road. That's the lights and the licence plate. That's the wheels and boot latch. That's the tree trunk. That's extra. That's a cloud, that's a cloud, oh, that's a funny colour cloud, isn't it? Grass, car bottom, you've been talking a lot about bottoms today, aren't we? Car bottom, rear, again, she's back in here. Car steel bump, bumper and rear window. Then we've got cab top, car top. Then we've got tree one, tree two, tree three, tree four, tree five, tree six. Presents, tier two. I'm in tier three, which tier are you in? Uh, but this is extra. I don't know what this is for, then. Yeah, if you want to personalise, it'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Oh, Jeff. Lowe's Jeff, right? You know Lowe makes my ring, makes the rings, right? She said Jeff is in nothing but an apron. That's like little Paul. He's like that when he does work here. As well. I'll, have, I'll have to get making my Delphine Brooks elf because we're having an elf hunt in my village. Putting it in my window for children to try and spot as many as they can during the holiday. Oh, that's lovely, Christine. There was a, a person on the radio when I drove in this morning, their whole village all put on their Christmas lights all at exactly the same time. They had a countdown. The whole village did their front lights and everything. Anyway, this is not... Only 19 99 Okay. So you get this, you get your calico, you get your fat quarter of red, and you get your instructions for, for 19 99 I don't think the maths have been done right on that, but uh, who am I? It's cool what? What's math say? I'm confused. I don't know what math say means. Oh, okay. It's because, Hannah, because you're sitting too way, way, way away from your microphone. I can't hear a word you're saying. I'm not ignoring you. Right, now I've got another panel on its own. R reindeer. Oh! I'm sure I've been sitting on this all morning. <laughs> no, no, it's not this one. I've seen this one this morning somewhere. These are just the instructions on their own. 
It's cute, isn't it? Right, okay, 9 99 That's Helen Newton again. Look, there's your templates. Where's it? Oh, that's it. That must be his body there. Nose. What's that there, then? Box. Present box. But well, hang on, then. Oh, I was going to say, where's the twigs and the stars? There's the other box there, look. They're not antlers. Oh, they're antlers. They're antlers. <laughs> Yeah, of course they are. And of course all reindeers have got twigs sticking out their head. I do apologise. That's a girl, remember? It's got, if it's got antlers at Christmas, it's a girl. I learned that from Debbie Shaw. Yeah, so if, if they've got antlers, right, uh, the, only the girl reindeers have still got their antlers by Christmas. The boy reindeers have shed theirs. So Rudolph can't have been a boy... Because he had antlers. No, I thought that as well. I thought that as well. I thought only the boys had antlers and the girls didn't have antlers, but it's not right. It's not right. Anyway, how are we doing on that one? Okay, lots of people checking out on that one. Thank you. Right, I'll keep that one up here. Now, that's the last of the instructions on their own because this one, again, is a bundle. This is festive front door. Yeah, you see, again, this is 19.99. Again, oh, look, it matches perfectly. If you were to make the reindeer one, no, the driving home one, the driving home one, this matches because it's the same red fat quarter. Oh, that's not calico, though. That's cream cotton, that one. That one's cream cotton there. Right, and here we go. Festive. Oh, extra. That one turns up all the time. Look, that blue check. So what we got here, but there's no bottoms in here. Holly and garland, door and door crescent, door surround, doorstep, window flowers, bows, lanterns, letterbox, doorknob, pre uh, presents, presents. And then what's that? Tree plant pot, tree, pump, tree plant pots. Yeah, and then this is all spare. No, Crinkly Bottom was Noel Edmonds and Mr. Blobby, wasn't it, Crinkly Bottom? You know, our friend Caroline Lindsay used to be Mr. Blobby's nurse. Yeah, on her primetime ITV or BBC. Was it was the ITV or BBC? BBC, primetime BBC. She thought that was the start of her big career. No, because no, then she did the advert. Have you ever been hurt in an accident? And this was her putting her arm on that. That she was in a room with lots of people on telephones. Right? Have you ever been hurt in an accident? Well, right. Okay, that's that one. Now I've got. Uh, where shall I go next? Reindeer first. I've not seen it. Oh, now I've seen this one. Wait there. Oh, have you got a picture of it? Yeah, that's it. Uh, is it that one or is it a different colourway? Oh, okay, because there's a blue one over there. Yeah, I've got blue and gold, which isn't that one either. And it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. They're all different. Right, so who's designed this? Ju I don't even know who Jude Edmondson is. Is she one of our team? Oh. I've not seen this before. Vixen? Oh, because... Right, okay. Brain, come into... Yes, it's a name, because it's Comet, Vixen, da, da, da. I was thinking Vixen's a female fox, isn't it? I was thinking that's not a fox. But Vixen shouldn't have a red nose, though. Otherwise, it would be called Vixen the Red Nose Reindeer, wouldn't it? Anyway, there's your pattern. Oh, she's won the winners. I do apologise. I do apologise. But I apologise. <gasps> what is the matter with my words today? I do apologise, Jude. I didn't know. 30th of October is when you could watch this show. Yeah, we've been doing Christmas since July, or you've been doing Christmas since July, haven't you? Yeah, so it's a duck, is it? Christmas reindeer, body, body. So now it must be a different colour on either side. Oh, you see, I can see from the one over there. So then we've got legs right, legs left, ears right, ears. Now, that's very similar to the grey fabric we had in um, the bag, era, uh, not the bag, the, the 
oh, no, no, the um, slouchy uh, uh, iPad. That, oh, crikey, John. I've got to concentrate. I need to drink some water to get some oxygen to my brain in a minute. Right. They're gorgeous colours, though, those, aren't they? So that's that one. So you get that and the instructions for £19. Not £19.99. They should be £19.99, really, shouldn't they? But anyway, not to me. So that's your Christmas reindeer in blue and gold. Now I've got Christmas reindeer in... Okay, this one's red and cream. Christmas reindeer. Okay, this one's called Blitzen. Oh, now Blitzen's body is the same colour on both sides. Donna kebab. Legs, legs, ears, ears. No, four legs. No. Anyway. Christmas reindeer, Blitzen. So that one there's £19 as well. Hmm? I love some of these prints. Um, so what date do you say? 20th of October? A 30th of October. Thir so go and watch it on YouTube on the 30th of October to see Jude making these. What day of the week was that then? 30th of October. Doesn't matter. I just wonder why I didn't see it. No, no, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, now I'm moving on to... Now we all know Rebecca Reed and the beautiful Amy. Oh, she's taking the little one with her, she. Someone will get that wrapped up for Christmas, won't they? Oh, it's on a Friday. I'm not... Oh. Normally in on a Friday, aren't I? Anyway, oh, I, was I even working here then? Was I even working here on the 30th of October? No, I was, I was. Right, this is just what? Yeah, yeah, instructions on the panel. Right, so these are the instructions. Now, Bex has made, uh, Rebecca, sorry, Rebecca has made this twice on the show. When we launched it, it was with me. 28th of October, 28th of October, designed with love by Rebecca Reed. I wonder why she always puts her name first and Amy Gaunt, when really the talent behind it all is Amy, isn't it, really? Yeah, did you not see her on the launch? She was here. She's a graphic designer. She's lovely, yeah. Right, look, this is amazing because you get enough to make the big one and the small one. Now, and on the small one, I can't show it to you because the small one, the roof lifts up like that. And it's like a needle case and everything. But Rebecca Reed's taking it home with her. I've, should the guests not know that they should leave things here? Actually, I was looking for... Where, what's happened to Mark's waistcoat? That's not here either. I couldn't find that earlier. Right. So look, for here, I'll start here. This is the big house with the roof and the Christmas trees, the applique. That's like... Um, Margaret in the village, her roof is identical to that. And then she's got three peacocks here, like done in raffia, done in the straw. Anyway, look, then you get the little one. There's the Father Christmas going down the chimney if you want to put the Father Christmas in. They're lovely. The whole thing's lovely, isn't it? Now, is the wreath already on the door? Oh. I'm just thinking, well, no, 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 because I was going to say, if you don't put the Father Christmas on the chimney, it could be all year round, couldn't it? But actually... You've got the wreath on the door. Oh, who was that? Somebody, I can hear somebody cackling. No, no, it didn't. What's that side of us there? Oh, someone outside. Oh, it'd be some because we're in an industrial estate. It'd be like that from one of the other units, I imagine. Outside. So you're allowed to smoke outside, Paul. Right, okay, so you get the instructions and the panel and this is what you can make. This door stop is what you can make. Oh, hang on, sorry, do you want me to turn it over like this? Oh, you got it on a picture. Oh, there you go. There you go. It won't come out. Look, and then you got a little tag. Gorgeous, isn't it? 
Uh, 20 pounds, oh, that's a funny price. 20 pounds and 99 pence. Amber makes Christmas Tudor cottage and pin cushion, kitten instructions. Well, sorry, it's instructions and the panel to make the big one and the small one. 28th of October. Okay. Oh, now, now. Toy stuffing. Oh, you'll need stuff. Well, actually, they've all been cushioned so far. Oh, no, but the reindeers, you need to stuff those. And what? We haven't got to the elves yet, though. Oh, the first elf. Yes, yeah, sorry, the first elf, yes. Yeah. Oh, they're gnomes. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, tontus. Anyway, three ninety nine. This is. Remember, you pay one pp no matter how many things you buy during the day, no matter how many times you check out, no matter how bulky anything is, you still only pay. Oh, what? No, three ni uh, three ninety five. Post packaging, Paul. Super soft toy filling. Oh, we don't even call it stuffing. Anyway, and then the other thing you might want to, if you're doing the doorstop, we had these earlier, the recycled pellets. I'll just get them from here. There we go. Oop. There we go. Recycle pellets. One kilo. There's a hole in this bag, you know. Yeah. I think it's because I haven't cut my, it's <laughs> cut my finger now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the little boy who puts his finger in the uh, dam, aren't I? Do you remember the story? No. <laughs> it's like a little a, a boy in Holland and he's got his finger in the... It's a children's story. <laughs> anyway. You're a mine of useless inform... Oh, useful... Susan says you're a mine of useless information. Useful information. Uh, Sheila says, hi, John, the reason for the female... Oh, here we go. The reason the female ant... No, start this again. What is wrong with me today? The reason the female reindeers have antlers late is in colder... Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, so they can f um, forage for food. when they, If they're pregnant, they keep their antlers longer so they can forage for food. That's why the girls keep theirs longer than the boys. Oh, Sheila, it's fascinating, that, isn't it? Does Hannah do foraging? <laughs> for what? Oh, for bounty chocolates. Yeah. Right, I've finished at this table now. Right, so I'm taking... Do I need... I need this for Tonto's. Do I need the heavy? No, I don't need the heavy. Right, let's move. Yeah, because I've done everything on that table now. Gift vouchers, I can. Why, why aren't they in my trolley? Who's cleared my trolley? Oh, no, they're there. In the second drawer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit down. Oh, no, I'll sit down. Right, before I go on to tontus and things like that, I must tell you about the... Um, must tell you about the gift vouchers. Right, you can go. We sell gift vouchers now. Go to the website. This is the best way. You can, or you can ring the call centre. You can ring the call centre and they'll do it, sort it out for you. Go to the website, go down on the front page, it actually says gift cards. If you can't find that one that says shop gift cards, go right to the bottom of the page and there's another one you can click on there. So we've clicked on gift cards, right? Now, it says Sewing Street gift card. You can buy a Sewing Street one or a Yarn Lane one. Um, if you get a Yarn Lane one, you can spend it on Sewing Street. And if you get a Sewing Street one, you can spend it on Yarn Lane. What you do for the post-it one, is you click on there, Gift card, you say how much you want. You can either take one of the pre-designated figures there or just write in the one underneath what price you want. 15 if you put there. It was 450 earlier. And click on purchase and you buy it the normal way. You pay. Now, I would suggest, now can I suggest something? Do it on a day when you've bought something else as well because then it's covered in your P&P because you don't want to be paying 3.95 just for a gift card to arrive on its own, do you? Do you know what I mean? So I would always put it on a day when you've, like today, if you've already bought an elf something and you're thinking, oh, I must get one of those for somebody, put it on today, then your PMP's already paid for, isn't it? Or you can have it sent to you by an email. Now, this is a little bit different because you can either have it sent, well, I'll show you. So we click on there, shop gift cards. 
Then you go down, you do uh, email it. And what you do here is you do your price and then you can either have it sent directly to you or you can have it sent to someone else, right? So if you have it to, uh, to someone else, you put in their name. We don't need to fill all this in. You put in their name, you put in their email address and you can scroll down, you can put a message saying, you know, happy Christmas, have a lovely time, lots of love from John. Then, right, you don't need to do all that, Hannah. All right, go to the bottom. When is the card for? You can either click on right now or later. If you click on later, you can choose a date. So if you want it to arrive on Christmas Eve or Christmas morning, you can do. Or Christmas Eve Eve, even. I think I'm in Christmas Eve Eve, I know. I'm in all that week. I think I'm in all that week. I'm not in on Christmas Eve because I'm doing my show on Christmas Eve. Yeah, hang on, hang on. Now, I need to just explain something to you. Right, when you get your card, whether it's this one or an email one, I'll just drop it down on the table here. You, how it works is you have uh, two numbers, right? You, it's fine because you can't use it. I'm not giving anything away. You have a big number here. And then like a scratch card, you scratch that off behind then. You've got another secret number. You put both of those numbers in onto your, onto your account and it will add... Who, if the person's bought you a £15 card, like Hannah's just put, it will then add £15 to your account. So you can spend it as and when you want to spend it. It's not like having, a, you know, in the old days, we had to go into a thing and say, here's a credit card. It basically, or not credit card, gift card, you can literally spend it as and when you need it. So you can spend all of it in one go, you can spend less of it in one go, or you can spend it and put it towards something else in one go. So that's how, how they work, right? Now, the other thing about gifts, right? We've got this brilliant, brilliant, brilliant scheme where you can drop a subtle hint. Now, do this quite quickly because it's only two weeks till Christmas, isn't it? What you need to do is say you want to buy a sewing machine. You want somebody to buy your sewing machine, right? Go to sewing machine and overlockers. Click on there. Now, which sewing machine do you want, Hannah? That one. Click on it. And then if you look at the details, scroll down. I think it's sold out, that one, isn't it? But you see there, look, drop a hint. You can click on drop a hint, not so subtle hint. You put your name in, so um, that, that's Kat has put her name in. She's dropping a hint to me, John. She's put my email address in there. Uh, you can send it to yourself as well if you want to, right? And then what it does is you press submit and it sends an email. So, so I, I would get an email from Sewing Street saying, Kat really wants this sewing machine for Christmas, right? It's, well, yeah. But the thing is, uh, it's sometimes you can know somebody so well, right, and not know what they want to buy. It's, I mean, you have to do it on a sewing machine. We've been, we've been outrageous. You could do it on anything. You could do it on the, the fabric roller. You could do it on a ruler or anything. Creative Grids ruler, maybe. Your husband's not going to know about that, is it? Or I'd say your husband, partner, friend, whoever. They're not going to know which ruler you need and everything. So you just click on it, send it, and then they'll get an email. Not so subtle hint. You can't, right, okay, you can't do it on live show products. So anything that you've seen from me today, th th for some reason, that's disappeared. The, the drop a hint has disappeared. Oh, you can't hear that at home, can you? Anyway, let's go on, let's get on. What time is it? Oh, we got, we're only halfway through the show. Halfway through the show. What have we got first? Yeah, have these been put in order then? No, I didn't. Th I did that table, you see. Right, let's do, I've got four known panels in front, oh no I haven't. Right, I've got blue ones, I've got grey, let me move them into their colourways. So they're grey ones there, they're blue ones there. So I'm going to start with Frida and Daughter Gnome. Is that alright? Right, so what you get in this, I've not seen, oh. No, that can't be Frida, because she's got a beard. Oh, there's Frida, the middle one. Frida and the daughter are the middle ones. The grey, and they're, they're in grey. I've got the ones in blue at the moment, right? I'll show you now anyway, look. So you get the instructions. Yeah, th there they are. That's the grey picture, but I've got the blue version now. You get a ball of yarn, super soft baby yarn, and... You get the panel. Oh, sorry, I thought I did it the right way. There you go. Right, so there you go. So on the panel, oh, that looks. 
<laughs> we were talking about bottoms earlier, weren't we? Is that a bottom? Anyway, $24.99, right? This is, let's just read it. Sewing Street, Fair Isle, Frida and Daughter, Christmas Gnomes Kit, Instructions Panel and, well, they called it wool. I might not be wool. No, it's pre, it's acrylic. It's acrylic. It's not wool. It's not wool. Yeah, it's ER, but it's, it's, it's acrylic. It's acrylic. It's not wool. You shouldn't put wool in the graphics. It's not wool. Anyway, look, so you get everything in here. You've got the large known body. This is the mum. Large known boot sole. Large gnome leg. Um, you've also got, oh, that's the baby gnome over there. So the baby gnome's green and the mummy gnome is blue. And this is the, f no, is it? Do I say Pharaoh? Okay. Tartan, this is, no, hang on. I didn't say Pharaoh. That's Pharaoh over there. This is Tartan. Oh, did I read out, read out Fair Isle on the... No, no. I was going to say, because that's not Fair Isle, is it? That's Tartan. Yeah, this is Tartan. There's the right graphics, $24.99. No, 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 don't apologise. Yeah, the, 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 to be fair, the Fair Isle isn't Fair Isle really either, but so this is Tartan. This is Tartan. I was just looking around the sets. I don't think we could have made Tartan because I can't find a tartan one anywhere. Yeah, yeah, so on the, on, oh! Oh, no, no. No, that's the boy tartan. I've got a boy tartan and a child tartan, but I haven't got a mum tartan and daughter. Anyway, so that's that one, that's that one. What is, can, can you hear that at home? Tell me if you can hear that at home. Oh, it's very loud. They must be very busy upstairs. Right, now I've got Bjorn. I've got Bjorn and Son. So this one, again, in the tartan. I'll get them because it'll be easier for me to get it than you. Right, so Bjorn and his son, right? So you get the pattern, the instruction, sorry, the yarn, acrylic yarn, and then you get, there you go. So now this way, the, the dad is green and the little boy is blue, right? You look at those. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Sorry about that. The the tontus, the gnomes, were keeping up the um, baubles. There you go. So this is what you can make out of this. The pa pattern is slightly different because yours has got a brighter green than this one. But there's there's Bjorn and his son. Very popular. Oh, you're loving that one more. Than, maybe it's because you can see it. But that one's very, very popular. There's less than how many now? Less than 10 now, fewer than 10. Right, okay, let me put them on there. <laughs> now, what's this one here then? Oh, this is the whole family. This is the whole family, look. Look, right now, the, the pattern, oh, look, that's what, oh, no. Oh, it, that's what's confusing everybody. It's the pattern for the Bjorn and Son is in the tartan, but the pattern for Frieda and Daughters is in the Fair Isle, even though I'm selling it in the tartan. Right, so all, I'll put that there. The whole family is tartan, right? So you get Bjorn and Frieda, who are the mum and the dad, and you get the son and the daughter all in the blue and green tartan with the wool and you get the two panels, whole family, 39 99 I'm not going to open them out because they're exactly the ones you've just seen. But they're the mum and the daughter, or the mum and the daughter and the father and the son. So you can make the whole family there for 39 99 Okay. 
and they're tartan. That's what's thrown us. That's what's thrown us. That's what's thrown us. Right, okay, so now let's do Bjorn and Son in, they're calling this Fair Isle. I won't show you the picture on the pattern because it'll confuse you because it's the tartan. It's Fair Isle-esque, isn't it? I'd call it Scandi, you see. I'd call that Scandi, not Fair Isle. Yeah. Scandi Christmas, I'd call that. Anyway, so $24.99 will get you the um, Fair Isle, get you this one here. Yeah, now I've got the father and the son here, haven't I? So, hang on. It's funny how there's some of one, not of the other, but anyway. So, hang on, that's him and him. There you go. So that panel and instructions makes this. Oh, hang on. No, that must be a little girl, that one. Sorry, I haven't got the little boy. I haven't got the little boy. Has the little boy, has the little boy got a moustache? Yes, he has. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. So this is what this plus a little one will make. Mr. Gnome panel in Fair Isle. That's what that one makes. It's cute, isn't he? Right, yeah. And you get the yarn to make the uh, moustache and everything. So that one goes there, that goes there, that goes there. Now I've got the mum, Frida. Frida. Right, so that is Frida. And this is daughter who hasn't got a name. Now she's been stuffed well, because she, look, she's like a weeble, watch. Oh, it's not going to do it this time. Look! We balls wobble, but we don't fall down. No, I'm not being paid by it. They still make them. Anyway, so this one you get in here. Let me open the panel for you. Now, this one has got a glittery pom-pom on its hat, and I don't think that comes with it. Let me just double check. Oh, hang on. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I sneezed. I've just got to sanitise my hand, sorry. I wonder where my bottle of sanitizer has gone. Oh, it's over there. That's more one from Seams. Yeah, in fact, it's not mine, it's Vicky's, that one. Well, we're not sharing, but it's sanitizer, so it's fine, isn't it? It's fine. Right. Okay, panel. Panel. Come on out. Uh, it's weird, isn't it? Because I thought I prefer the top, but I like this colourway best as well. So where are you? Come out. There you go. So that's the mum and the daughter, Frida and her daughter. But let me just check. Yeah, you don't get that on the top, I don't think, do you? Yeah. Don't know where that's come from. Gone. It's gone now. Cute. Right, so they go in there. And then, uh, then I've got the mum, the dad, the boy and the girl, the whole family in the fair aisle. Oh, you see this one's far, this one's very popular, the grey one. Right, so you get both patterns, both panels and the yarn so you can make the whole family. There you go. Mm? Oh, family. We are family. I've got all my sisters with me. You will need some stuffing or fill in. $3.99. Nearly time for Yarn Lane. Not long now till Yarn Lane. Hey, what? Oh, it's a big knitting today. Big knitting. We're using a skipping rope to do the knitting on today. Well, I have to say, when it was in the packet, I thought it was one that, what's those called in the gym, Paul, where you go like that to do your muscles with? You know what they're called? They're like sc scruncher things. Yeah. But anyway, anyway, I thought they were that. It's not that at all. Right, I've got some tools. 
Oh, yeah, if you're doing anything at home, now I've not got this open. I, I, no, no, you buy, well, they're, they're ones you could buy for home, really. You think they're wrist strength, nothing, is that not good? Anyway, this, don't worry about it. This is like um, like a piece of uh, silicon that you can fold over. It's a bit like, I tell you what this is a bit like, it's a bit like June Taylor's pressing cloth, Teflon pressing cloth. Oh, yes, you will have, and Paul, yeah. Anna's taken the home, the one that's open home. So I can't show you. 6 99 Now, for some reason, this is 30 centimetres by 31 centimetres, this square. Just to be accurate. Well, I'm trying to... Oh, I'm going to open it. How much is it? 6 99 I'll buy it, don't worry. Right. There we go. Oh, it's a bit different now. Now, 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 now. I take it back, what I said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's not 30 centimetres. Have we got the right thing? <laughs> right, anyway, what you use it for... I'm going to be proved wrong now and look stupid, aren't I? But Tw oh, it's, <laughs> it's bigger. <laughs> it's bigger. No, it's bigger. <laughs> That's 31 and a half by 30. Right, it is. How funny, I thought it was going to be much bigger than that. Right, okay, look, 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 what you use it for is, it, look, it's a kind of um, silicon mat, and what you can do is pretend that's your applique or your bonder web, you can put it in there, you can iron. If any of the glue or anything moves, it goes onto the mat instead of onto your uh, iron or onto your ironing board. When it gets cool, you can peel it off. Um, or you can just literally, if you've got a big, uh, like the cushion front, you can just put it on top of your applique like that and stow. It means the glue doesn't go on your iron. That's what it's for. Let's see if there's anything I've missed out. Uh, use for applique, fusing fabrics, working with glue and reducing friction. Use as a mat for gluing. Oh, so you can use it, you know, when... Um, what's she called? Alexander. No. Uh, who's Alexander? Wendy Orlando, when she was using her glue stick earlier, said don't put it on the pressing thing, right? I don't know. Who, who's Wendy Alexander? I was thinking of something called Wendy Alexandra doing that is. Anyway, uh, resist sticking to most glues. Non-stick and reusable Teflon glass. Oh, it's Teflon glass fabric. Cover the wrong side of your fabric with you. Oh, it's just telling you how to use it. Right, okay. That's quite sturdy. It feels like a tent. Or a, 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 what's the thing you lie on in a tent? Ground sheet. That's what it feels like. Right, okay. So that goes there, that goes there, that goes there. Right, okay, next. Oh, excuse me. Oh, this is cute. Two piece scissor set. Made from the finest stainless steel. Genome. I know you well. Right, okay, there's a there's a, is there is there a spelling mistake on this packet? Is that supposed to say special or spatial? Spatial. Anyway, oh, they're only twelve ninety nine. Oh, okay. Do you know? Uh, I know twelve ninety nine. You get both. Right, hang on. So what size? We've got four and a half inch there thread snips, and we've got eight and a half. So, uh, oh. General purpose, general purpose they are. They do others as well, look, they do all those other. Oh no, there it is, two-piece scissor set, that's this one. Oh, it is side bent. Yeah, no, these aren't serrated edge, I don't think these. The, no, no, the blades are precision ground and set for optimum performance. 
They are spatial, exclusive spatial handle designed for ease of use. I want to get it out now, but they're all stapled in. They knew, I would, they knew I'd try and open it, so it's stapled in there. Okay. Good little, good little scissors. Next. I haven't got freezer paper. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not freezer paper. It's foundation paper. paper. Right, now, the reason this is here, not that you need it for any of the projects we've shown you today, but every time this comes into stock, you buy it. You buy it, it sells out. You buy it, it sells out. Oh, Facebook's, has your Facebook um, frozen? Oh, I've got cut people's cars. Right, keep, you keep going. Oh. Oh, no, you can't talk for me, can you? Yeah, you, I, 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 I've lost Facebook completely, I'm afraid, everybody. It's just flashing at me now, my iPad. It's not flat, it's just flashing on and off, on and off, on and off. Anyway, this is Cal Dokes Foundation. But you can put this through your printer. You can put this through your normal household printer and it marks it up. Oh, it hasn't got anything about that. Marks it up for a foundation paper piecing. And then the paper itself is a looser weave. Uh, so it's easier to rip away afterwards. There are a hundred sheets in there for fourteen ninety nine. There's over two hundred thousand. So it must be more than that because that's been on there since we first started doing this. Oh yes, if you. Oh yes. Now I'm not supposed to say this, but you know, twelve days of Christmas finishes tomorrow. So if you're up to four, here it is. If you're up to um, four or five then you have to buy today and tomorrow and then that's you done. But if you've bought for six of the days over the first 12 days of December, you'll get free P&P for the whole of January. I know, brilliant, isn't it? Brilliant. Anyway, that's that. Oh, who, sorry? Joan had a question about the foundation paper piecing. Oh, about the 12 Days of Christmas. Joan, what you need to do is if you email in, have we got the here go, studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. Hannah can't answer it, but she can forward it to Hayley B, who will be able to answer it for you. Mind you, Hayley B never replied to my email yesterday. She says she did, she says she did, but she hasn't. Old message, where is it? Oh, Helen, here you go. Hi, John, the pressing mat looks good. Will it save my tea towel? Oh, yes, it will save your tea towel. Love the show from Helen. Helen. It will save your tea towel, exactly. Gorgeous. Right, Nick. Add a quarter rulers. You get two in here. This is if you're doing your foundation paper piecing, isn't it? Now, this is the best way to buy these rulers because it, if you were to buy those individually, it costs more than $24.99. What it is, is you, along this edge here, you've got your inches ruler. You've also got a beveled edge. So you can see that there. Beveled edge there. Um, so you can fold your paper across there. But then here, this is the important bit. Uh, and are you going to come in upwards like that? There you go. There you go. It has that ledge there, ridge there. That's exactly a quarter of an inch. So you put this against your seam and then you can cut off with your rotary cutter along here an exactly quarter of an inch. You get a 12 inch one and you get a 6 inch one for £24.99. Right, OK. Menu for tomorrow. Who's in tomorrow? Oh, it's me. I'm in tomorrow. Oh, I've got Christmas clearance at 8 o'clock. Christmas clearance at 8 o'clock. Janice, Janice is in doing a quilt as you go tree skirt. Now that's not a tree, that's not a skirt with trees printed on it. It's a skirt for your Christmas tree. Mind you, looking at Facebook, I think everybody's got their Christmas trees up already, haven't they? Um, then we've got Liberty Cottage Garden Fabric. Is that new? Is it? New, oh, it's newish. It's not a launch. Not a launch, right? Then we've got, oh, look, the quilt as you go. Wine totes. Now, I've got one of those at home already because that, um, Jill Rep, June, Jill Rep, Jill Rep made them for me. Now, at 12 o'clock, I've got the Britannia cover stitch, but there must be more in the hour than that. There's a sewing machine and the threads as well. Brilliant. 
So if you, if you always want to, if you want to cover stitch for Christmas, then watch at 12 o'clock tomorrow. That's me on my own. There's no guest with that one tomorrow. It's just me on my own. But I've had my lessons. I've had my lessons. Now, um, what, now we're going to go over to Yarn Lane at the moment. Now, yes, it is our sister channel. Yes, it is broadcast from this studio. And yes, it is me presenting it today. But it is all things knitting and crochet. However, if you want to watch, if you're watching on the telly already, then that's absolutely fine. Just stay where you are. If you're watching on YouTube, Facebook, or on the website, you need to go to the Yarn Lane website, the Yarn Lane YouTube, or the Yarn Lane Facebook page to be able to watch them on there. All of, all of the um, products on the show can only be bought from Yarn Lane, the website, right? So you can't, but they won't be on the Sewing Street website, neither will the Sewing Street, all these that we've seen here, they won't be on the Yarn Lane website. However, if you've bought from Sewing Street during the day today, that, your 3 95 covers Yarn Lane, it's because we share the same warehouse. So it will come from, so at midnight tonight, what happens is, is the computer goes, oh, Sheila has bought, that Tontu or that gnome from Sewing Street and she's bought that the pink knitting yarn from Yarn Lane. Put them together, come in one parcel, you pay one P&P for three ninety five. So that way, that's the way it works. It's basically everything to do with knitting and sewing, uh, knitting and crochet. You asked, you asked to see it and I can't tell you, I cannot tell you how popular it's been. It's smashing all their records that they thought they were going to get. Anyway, it'll all change there with me and Wendy Orlando, but there you go. Uh, so now, now, if you're on the website, if you're on the YouTube, you're off the Facebook, you need to go and change over to Yarn Lane now. And if you're on, if you're on the telly, that's fine, stay there. I will see you the other side of this break with Yarn Lane. <laughs> 